is the Chronicles of Isler. Uh, we're picking up where we left off, where the group has for the most part, not all everyone yet, I don't believe, but majority have put on these bracelets that they have found floating over a uh looks like looks like some sort of like basin of lava uh and those that have placed the, them on it just says participant and then their name uh, is shanty in the hallway or is shanty was shanty in the room uh i think i was in the room okay so then. field medic has been face palming th them putting on bracelets yeah, i think field medic was one of the only ones that didn't that's a correct grace fix your mic Sorry, eating, so I had the, the mic up in my hair. Yeah, Phil, Phil Medic's the only one... Uh, sorry, Phil Medic didn't put on a bracelet. Phil Medic has been face palming as best as they can with, with the mask on <laughs> after seeing their companions putting on bracelets. There's still the one left, basically, just floating there. That's right, we're gonna do a free for left tournament. So nothing happened after we put on the bracelets other than that put our name no. on them, right? It didn't do anything. It didn't seem to... I mean, it, it, it adjusted its size to fit better. That was about it. Uh, maybe Trash might experiment with, like, whether it comes off or not, or if it's now permanent. Phil, Phil uh, Medic is rummaging in their bag while they're doing this, and is pulling out the last of their greater healing potions. Uh, gives one of one of them to trash, uh, one to Shino and one to Shanty. Uh, hmm. You're not gonna actually take it off. She's just gonna like kind of move it, like you know, jiggle yeah, it around it and like just see if it like is like welded or like does it look like it'll come off or does it look like it's like you know one of them things that. I'm Stuck with. It doesn't look like it's like stuck. It looks like it might take a little, like you might have to like a little more effort to pull it off. But it doesn't seem like it's resisting it. Okay. It just seems like it's not something that someone could like like if you put effort and you wanted it off, you could take it off probably. But someone couldn't just like snake it off you real quick without you noticing. Okay. Uh, is there anything else interesting about this room other than this? Now that I've, uh, now that we've, you know, grabbed the MacGuffin. Uh, other things of note um, in the room besides, like you know, the the tavern, like appear appearance. Uh, you notice, uh, kind of embedded in the ceiling. In various points in the ceiling, and like almost uh, like there's one each gonna be like one technically in each corner, but there's like some just intermittently in the middle, kind of equal. It's uh, placed are these crystals, uh, that are they just kind of give this faint 
kind of dim glow, which is kind of helping add light to the to the room. And you said, like, well, I don't have that magic eyes up, but I think the last time we were in here, you said, like, everything was magical. Yeah, everything has that same kind of conjuration magic. Uh, and I will say these bracelets, they have, a, like... A bit of a stronger magic to it, but it seems... The bracelets are somehow. Cause I can't remember which one who has theirs up, but I think it's. I want to say it's Field Medic, uh, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, I think Field Medic was the one that had the magic eyes up. The bracelets also seem tied to the crystal in some some way, shape, or form. Like the enchantment and magics on the crystals are very similar enough to the bracelets. If that makes sense. Good to know. Almost like they're connected in some way. Interesting. You also think everyone let's see. The medic passing. will also make people know, aware of this. Uh, what's uh, trash is passive? Because your distance where you are. Um, did it, did it, did it. I don't even have my character sheet open. I'm doing real good. Hold on one sec. Trash. What is your passive? It's 15, but I'm not 100%. Uh, 15. Yeah. You do hear motion coming from the back corner. Bear hand this counter. Okay, um... I'm gonna kind of, like... Field Medic the... will also handle... Hand over a blue potion of regain to trash. Alright, so you gave me a greater heal. I'm not gonna use him right away. Yeah. Field Medic's just worried, considering the last conversation was about, you should be getting these potions out before a battle and, starts. And, uh... I was very concerned. Regen. Yeah. Re regeneration for ten minutes. Okay. Um... So yeah, Trash will kind of be like, uh, she'll use message, I point at Rodan and be like, uh, there's something moving around over behind the bar, and she just sort of like casually gestures in that direction. <laughs> I don't know why she always picks Rodan. I, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, why do you always pick Rodan for this message? Mm -hmm. You seem like the most level-headed in the bunch. The wildfire mage who likes to burn things is the most level. I feel like, of well, the no, bunch. no. I feel like it's more like if I tell Shino, she's gonna go try to make friends with it. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, but you know. Tell no, Shanty, change his program. I want to hit it. <laughs> yeah. And you never know what Maria's uh, gonna do. I mean, I'll whisper that to Shino. That the. Uh... Motion over that way. Now start walking that way. Yeah, I guess I might approach it stealthily. No, go ahead, roll self check. Oh, that should not be with advantage, so 12. Just kind of. Yeah, you're not as quiet as you would hope. As a figure stands up from behind the bar. Kind of grizzled and gray hair. Uh, one eye has kind of clouded over at this point. Uh, you see some scars, and he's brandishing a dagger in your direction not like he's running gonna run at you but more like because you've approached and you can see the clothes are very tattered uh looks like looks like kind of like something someone's 
just worn for days and days without just that kind of general wear and tear. Crash is just going to like sort of put her hands up like, you know, how you do mm-hmm. like, like, you know, hey, hey there, you know. What do you um, more illusions, more things, more people, more 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 Okay, I think the guy's a bit crazy. Um more things from this place? No no, they look different, they look very different. Not the armors. You okay? Mm-hmm. Considering the talking vegetables, it's hard not to be crazy in this place. Crazy. Well, and he mentioned the armors, too. It's crazy to be here, you're crazy. Oh, I'm too late now. Does anybody have a greater restoration? Or that's probably too high. I mean, any restoration? Well, I think only greater does me- uh, mental issues. Hmm. I think. I can bonk him. I don't think that's going to help. <laughs> I think it's going to make it worse. Contra- contrary to children's stories, bonking does not help someone regain sanity or memory. It can only makes things worse, as Trash here has said. Only if they're pretending. Not Not pretending. I don't think this dude is pretending. <laughs> I have. Any better idea? Let's see. Is magic coming off this guy? Um. That's a good question. Kind of similar to this, to the whole place. Some kind of magic. Alright. Uh, are any of us also registering that we look like we're in, you know, covered in conjuration magic too, or just this guy in the place? Just, just him. So, field medic is going to turn around after studying this for a moment and going, You know, it is very possible this guy is not real. He, uh, that would be illusion magic. Not. Well, he's he, very much actually there. Well, what I mean by that is not... I, I don't think he could leave this place as I think he is part of this place. Unlike us who can leave this place. Oh, no, no, he can't leave. No, no, can't leave. Too late. Too late. For all of us or just them? No, too late. Once you've gone down, can't come back up. Not... No, 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 there's only one way. Gotta go deeper. Gotta get his permission to leave. Trash is going to uh, point at her wristband, and she's like, what are these things for? Mm-hmm. Made so those, get... made those, made those. I did, yes. He can last the magic in that thing. That thing that lasts the magic in that cauldron. I had to split the magic. I had to split it up. Couldn't make it in one device. Needed multiple. It intervened in multiple, multiple, multiple. I couldn't do it by myself. Can't use it without all of the parts. Only that I was not enough people. They, it's, it's to keep those things out of rooms that have crystal. The, the crystal is the safety. It can be tuned to that. It can keep the knights out, the armor out temporarily. Mm. He's kind of like fidgeting. He's dropped the knife now. Like he's not like aiming at you, but he's like just kind of fidgeting with himself. Crash is going to take out one of our rations and, like, sort of offer it to him, like, cautiously. Yeah. Especially if all he's been had to eat down here is turnips. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's right. Sounds like the bracelets are kind of useful. Yeah. I, I, he was babbling about how they can could activate check the for that? crystals to yeah, you can block the armor. While crazy, there's a sense of, like, he believes that 
when he he believes it at the very least. Like, and judging from the way you're, the magic of the bracelet seems to be tied to the crystals in the room that he's referring to, it m more likely is accurate. All right. Yeah, Field Medic is going to let out a long sigh and put on the remaining bracelet then. <laughs> Does the same I'm thing as the person did. He doesn't reach for the ration. He doesn't seem to recognize what you're doing. He just seems to be just kind of like still just sitting there fidgeting. Uh, gameplay wise, because it's hard to explain from a madman what those do. Uh, they have two charges. You need basically all the act, current and like active ones in order to to use it. But like, so when you use it, all all six of them will lose one charge. Basically, if that makes sense. Uh, but you can only use it while you're in rooms that have these crystals in the ceilings. While in it, it will for up to eight hours with, per one charge keep those knights from fading phasing into their room. So basically give us a Same chance thing. for a long rest if we need it. Mm -hmm. And we have how many of those? You have two charges, but you have it takes every one a charge from every from all six of these. So, so basically, you can't stagger them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically it takes and nobody six can die. charges, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's well. Where to now? Okay. He seemed to indicate that like he couldn't wear them all himself. It seemed like it needed multiple people. Oh, he has one too. He does not. Oh. Should we ask him if he wants to follow us to keep him safe from the nuts then? Because he was the one that's working on it and I I, I don't see him saying anything about not wanting them sort of thing. Like, if he doesn't have one, like, eh, is he safe then? <laughs> he still be safe here? By himself? Would he like to leave? Is another question, maybe? Mm -hmm. I'm... They don't come here? They don't come in here right now. Not while I'm quiet. Not while I'm quiet. What happens if you tripped over a barrel? He skitters on top of the counter with a spiral like kind of motion to his body. But doesn't disturb Cup on there. He seems quite not like adept at his motion but at the very least he know like he knows where things he, he seems very careful at the same time not careful if that makes sense maria will just nod and be like i oh, hope i guess that'll answer my questions then if you don't want to come with us that's fine I'm not going to go deeper. No, I don't want to go deeper. Sounds like we have to, though, yeah. to get out of here. Gotta ask his permission. The Pale Lord's permission. Yeah, I, I was about to say, are you talking about the Pale Lord? But you answered my question. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure like Roden will just ask and like he starts singing and I like oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like Roden's mouth's about like open about to say something <laughs> when he says it. Climbers uh, down. This will be interesting once we get to him. 
Mm -hmm. So where do we go from here? Uh, the only direction we didn't go? Well, so should we maybe take a short rest while we can right now? I feel like we ju had just taken a short rest like last session before we came down here, but yeah, I mean, did it... we? we did, yeah, we did. How did y'all get so fucked up? Uh, I stood in front of a guy and got hit, hit, hit a bunch. I was a meat shield in a hallway for yeah. pretty much <laughs> all y'all. So if we take a short rest, you wouldn't regain any hit die anyway. You don't have any left to spend. Well, I mean, I have hit die, but I can't. It's too soon. Like, you can't just short rest and short rest and short rest, I don't think. Fair enough, fair enough. I just thought, like, before we go into Murder Town, if we had a chance, this would be a good moment to do so. No, it's really sketchy because I'm almost out of spell slots and me and Trash are both really fucked up. And we, so... can't, go, and we can't go up to go out, according to this crazy guy. Should we, so... <laughs> should we do one room to take a long rest for you two? <laughs> I was going to say that while long rests require X amount of time between doing them, I think you could short rest anytime you want, unless the GM says otherwise. Uh, double check real quick. Because you can't regain your, your hit dice without a long rest, so... And I think some of the spells that are regaining is like short rest once a day or something like that. I don't know if there's a restriction on that. No, I don't. I don't have any benefit from a short rest other than health. Yeah, I think we're we're good to go. I just think like we we have this bracelet unless we're gonna spend like two quote unquote literal days in these tombs. We're probably gonna be able to use one at some point. Because I feel like if we do two rooms and we do a third we'll die. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I have wild shapes. I have to check. Yeah, like, I'm comfortable going into the next room. I have one. just have to make sure we keep the two hurt people at the back of whatever's happening. Well, and the dude seemed to indicate that if he's quiet, they don't... So, uh, I'll cast past without a trace again. And if we try to sne be sneakier, maybe... Yeah. So do awesome. we want a short short rest and then just try to sneak? Short rest in here since it seems this crazy dude seems to think it's safe. Yeah, because if we don't, you and me are going to die. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep you at the back of the next fight. <clears throat> just in case, anyway. There's I mean... no guarantee that you can keep us at the back of the next sure, fight. Sure, sure, but in as far as we can, we should avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, we got surrounded, so it was kind of yeah. just fucked at that point. Yeah. Uh, and I guess while we're moving slow, everyone be on alert for those things. Right. Um, we take but... a short rest in here. If you want to look around, you can as well. I'm going to roll. Does somebody get a level of exhaustion down here for something? Did I remember that correctly, or am I getting that mixed up with something else? I don't think anyone has exhaustion yet. Yeah, I don't remember us getting it. I think... Yeah, no, I think, I think the only thing that happened was... Y'all got pin cushioned and slashed at yeah. down here. I use all my head dice. Yeah, I'm using all my head dice too, just yeah. because. Uh, okay. Got me to 54 out of 56. So that's okay. Okay enough. Um, what are my spell slots look like? Ugh. I think I'm going to do an Arcane Recovery, too, because I have no first-level spell slots left. Yeah, I might as well. Uh, I have one-third and three firsts, and that's it. Yeah, I'm going to do my Arcane Recovery. Uh, what does that give? How many does that give me? Oh, God, uh, I'm not going to alpha spell slots, either. Yeah, we're kind of... No. That's 
It's Stacy. I have one second and two first. Equal to I or less than good. half my wizard level. Yeah, so you're I worse than me. Three spells back. So I'll put them on the level one spell slots because shield is good. Mage. Uh... I was going to be like, Maria pops up and asks, Do you want me to see if Gary's around? No. <laughs> no. no. Maria, how about you don't talk to Gary for a moment? <laughs> She'll but try. Just, just, like, where did my cooking go? But, you know, Gary just... I don't know where he is. Oh, you're right there. Got a bird on you. Meow! Hello, cat. Yeah, we. I think we think uh, mother might be pregnant again. Get your cats oh, fixed, man. Dude. Uh, we were going to, but like we needed to let her like be with the kittens for a little bit longer or something before she could actually do that. And then all of a sudden, oh look, she's horny again. Yeah, they can get <sighs> pregnant like right after they have kittens. I know it's so annoying. And the vets will be like, no, we can't spay them or anything like that while they're I mean, on heat you, and stuff. Can't you spay the ma male? Yeah, like... you can spay the male, but it's yeah, where, where, different. Yeah, where's, the, the, where's the male that's, that, that keeps getting her pregnant? Or should different males every time? <sighs> I, I'm, I'm going to be wondering the same thing because it might be a different one this time, I feel, because the other one hasn't been around for a while. So... But anyway, back on track. Sorry for that, guys. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, mm -hmm. While you guys are seeing if anyone wants to look around, you can make an investigation check as part of that program if you want. Uh, I'll investigate around. Yeah, I'll do it too if I'm allowed to, considering I'm doing like a bunch of shit. Eleven. And me. Eleven. Let me roll my dice. I'm gonna manually roll my dice. Give me a sec here. Oh man, it's a terrible roll. Uh, Should some... I close my gear? What are we rolling? I had to clean something up. Sorry. Investigation. <laughs> Investigation. If you walk around the room. Uh, the Sheena will cast guidance on trash. All right. So what does that give me? D four. D four. So a nine and a D four. Or uh, 20 and a D4. Where, where's a D4 look like? There it is. Like, I have my little conversation heart dice, so I'm rolling those. Let's see. I got a... Oh, I got a six. Yeah, not do... No, bad dice. Don't like you already. You're me. <laughs> oh, well, a six plus nine. So that's 15. Yeah. Uh, is that with a D4? Yeah, that's the six was a five on the d20 and a one on the d4. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and then plus plus nine because uh, I'm proficient in it. Uh, Am I allowed to roll if uh, if I cast guidance on somebody else? You should be. Oh. Yeah, allow it. Okay, that's actually pretty good because I just rolled a natural 20. So that is Ooh, a nice. investigation. Tw oh, pfft, <laughs> Is it just 20? Oh, 21. <laughs> uh, on the 13 and lower, uh, you find uh, there's still some food and drink left, but it seems to be all that same radish based, turnip based kind of food and drink. It doesn't appear that any of it's been really touched. You get the sense that he hasn't touched it, at least. Um, with the 16 and 19, looking around, you do find some uh, kind of like probably more back here in the top left corner of this room. Uh, kind of stacked and piled away underneath one of the tables. Um, more equipment. Just like standard. Uh, nothing seems... Everything seems very rough and ragged and not really good of good use uh, state. 
but but you both would notice uh, that the armor and like the very rusted weapons don't don't look like one they would really fit or work well with him. They also look of different makes and models, like multiple different types of people would have worn his equipment. Uh, and with the 21, you find Rumi, hmm, Rumi 1D8. Six. Uh, kind of tucked behind these barrels over here, you see uh, a very small leather bag, and inside you see six uh, potions. Same kind of red liquid, so you realize these are health potions. Just different size and the color, more than likely these are graders. Yeah, she'll pass one out to everybody. So I have two greater health potions. Grizz, I don't know if you don't know what. Um, did your sound just drop off or is that me? Oh, great, I can't hear anybody. Hold on. Testing. Testing? I still can't hear anybody. I'll type it again. Did you sit on something? I don't know. Testing. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can't hear anybody, so I guess you guys can hear me. I don't know what's going on. Audio test. Testing. Ah, I can hear Testing. you now. Okay, I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, good. Did the potions that you gave me and Turtle, did they have the resist on them, or were they regular greater healing potions? Uh, they both resist. They're all three. Sorry, I gave out three potions, so all three were resist. Thank you. Yeah, this, this pouch also seems like it's old. Uh, not as old as the place that you're in, but it seems to be the same... Well, the same age as the equipment that Trash and uh, uh, Shanty found. She'll just kind of tie it on her waist with her, her bone pouch and her... Extra bag slot. And he just seems also, by the way, just kind of gone dormant. If that makes sense. Like he, he, 
feel like he's forgotten that you are even around at this point. Alrighty then. Well, I'm going to leave my ration on the counter for him just in case he wants it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alright, buddy. I'll leave a snack for you. Uh, and then uh, she's going to move back over to the group and cast Pass Without a Trace and be like, look, guys, I think we need to be as, like, quiet as we can be. I think I think that dude, like, said something along the lines of, like, it, those things, if he was quiet and careful, they didn't come in here. So maybe if we're quiet and careful. So I shouldn't cast Message and make him hear voices then. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. You probably don't want him screaming. You okay. might already hear voices. It's fine. Well, we'll add one more into the conversation. Yeah. Things. <laughs> probably wouldn't change anything. I just no, used all my head dice, Shido. Sh- 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like I'm... making friends, but your friends hurt. He's just sitting there, <laughs> like standing straight up and just staring straight down the ground. In like the corner of the room. Yeah, I th- I think we just leave at this point. Okay, fine. I mean, that's what no, we're no fun. If you really want yeah. to. <laughs> no. Nobody can stop you. <laughs> no one can stop. You. <laughs> no. No one will know. <laughs> Guys, if I do die down here, could you like take my carcass with you? Because I don't want to. This this place doesn't seem like a good place to be dead in, or alive. You know. Fair. He just reminds me of my Uncle Andy a bit, and I just... I, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just skip over that. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle Andy is completely fine, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, let, let's just go. <laughs> Alright, so once we leave this door, stealth, stealth, stealth for everybody, I guess. Uh, plus ten, right? Uh, yeah, plus ten. Come on, stealth. Oh, natural twenty. Oh my god. Yay. Uh, All right, let's see. Let's see what my of... dice does. Jumps out of the tray. Oh Jesus! I rolled a two plus ten. Plus... I got a twenty-two. That's... Oh, for you. <laughs> That's you rolled a two and end up with a twenty-two. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how math works? <laughs> two, two plus ten plus ten. Come on, that's how math works. <laughs> that's Aminette, like in the fucking other campaign, yeah. rolled like a one and couldn't get like what was the base like twenty four something ridiculous. Yeah, like that? The, the first one I rolled was a sixteen, but it ju- had jumped out of the tray, and I don't count them when they jump out of the tray. Yeah. Either way, it's still a really good roll. Mm-hmm. Our lowest. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is the... <laughs> our lowest is our rogue. Yeah, your lowest is the rogue who has expertise in in uh, self. <laughs> uh, find out, funny. So. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to effectively take the average of this. It's a pretty good high average. Your average is 26, so that was the number to beat. Uh, and I am going to roll that openly. How many pluses do they have? Thirteen. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, we did okay, maybe. There you go. I forgot to roll some hit die for you. Wow, those are not that great rolls. 
It's also all a D4, to be fair. Uh, they, uh... <laughs> Bert has a D4. Oh, we'll I was like, roll. why does Quentin have a D4? I was like, <laughs> oh, that's his bird. So, I was reading this, that as rogue. So, <laughs> yeah, so was I. It's my secret. It's a secret. <laughs> I seriously had a moment where I was like, "Wait, when did Shanti take a fucking level in?" The <laughs> yeah, I was just like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. Uh, you don't need to know. You don't need to know. Mm-hmm. It's because we're part of the the rogue guild now. I I, I can't like not <laughs> take the level, you know. Yeah. Uh. So as long as nothing wrong with being a rogue. Stay within thirty feet of trash. On this level, well, technically, as long <laughs> as long as anybody who wouldn't lose, become a fourteen or, or lower stays within two and thirty feet of track, <laughs> uh, as you in this level, you will not be detected. So basically, shanty, uh, yeah. right? It- Shanty. Maybe make Shanty go in front, and Trash will just yes. like maybe it's Trash should just... ride on Shanty's shoulder or something. <laughs> it's just Shanty. It's just Shanty. Why do I keep getting shit on people? Come because on. heavy <laughs> because armor. Because you rolled plus. And you rolled uh, kind of. Actually, you didn't uh, yeah. roll that bad. Your stealth is just shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a strength fighter, not a back school. To be fair, so is mine. No, no. I mean, I rolled I just a rolled two. Really good. Yeah. And Why I got really good stuff. Why is my wisdom so high? Mm. I should have mm-hmm. used that for another stat. Because wow, of that's... animal handling? Yeah, because yeah. animal handling. I wanted that. Yeah. Oh, I could dip in rogue and take expertise in animal handling. I don't think you get expertise when you dip. Or do you? I think you do. Yeah, uh, I think you do. The... You might only get it once. You, I don't think you get as many, but I think you get something right off the bat, though. I could be wrong. It's a, it's a class feature, so I think you still get the... I get the same amount, I think. Even, but so, so I think it starts off at, with two, but if you, but you get more if you go more rogue mm-hmm. levels. Yeah. yeah, I'm debating on whether to stay Bladesinger or go more rogue. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's not a rogue subclass. Yeah, so you have a long hallway here that had one archway on the end and one archway that went south. Shanty, I'm, 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 get up here, Shanty. <laughs> get over here. Left or right? Where do we want to go? Uh, well, this, we have to go, that, yeah, the way go you're going. Way. Yeah. Unless you guys specify otherwise, I'm going to assume that Shanty is staying near Trash. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, yeah. I'm also going to assume that you're all kind of sticking in that shadow, because you don't know how stealthy you are, technically. Yeah. Uh, I'm going so we, to I, would, I mean, considering we, that we got our asses beat a little, we would. I think we would be smart enough to yeah. stick together. We can either go forward or go into the side arch. Yeah, there's an arch down here. And there's an archway up here. Uh, just looking at it. Going forwards will just get us to our destination. Yeah, I'm going to move it up to the arch at least and like peek around the corner. Like, kind of. I'm assuming everybody's moving with me. So, yeah. like, just peek, peek and see what's through the arch. And if there doesn't look like there's anything super interesting, you know. I mean, there's two rooms. Yeah, there's two doors. Uh... And of course, they're both closed. And we don't know. The dude said we need to go down, and we don't know where the down is. Yeah. Like, so, uh, Trash is just gonna like point at the door and and kind of shrug. Like, should I? If you want to. There are windows, uh, so you could peek in that way if you wanted to peek in. There. Uh, I see a window here. Oops, I just locked yeah, it. There's a window here. Yeah, they're both they're both technically locked. Okay. There's a window over here technically. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming everybody's weak, moving with me, peek, peeking through this window. Uh, looks like some sort of blacksmith. It doesn't seem to be any 
of her ex out except for two windows. I'll be looking for this window because I'm still in range. Fair enough. I'm staying in between in case I need to cast guidance on somebody. <laughs> uh, this one appears to be uh looks like it might be something more residential. I am noticing another door. There's another door, yeah, that seems to be leading somewhere else. Uh, and, and a staircase that leads up, but it leads up to a, a kind of like, it looks like a, 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 like a, not a full second floor, like kind of covers about half, over, over halfway, like a loft almost. Yeah. Uh, you can see some scroll, a scroll here, and like, maybe more, someone more magically inclined was in, occupied this place. So what did your one have? Trash? Again? Black, a blacksmith shop. Can I take a look inside? Like uh, which inside one do you want inside? to? Which one uh, did you want to go to? No, no, this is a question towards the, the party. Oh, okay. I kind of want to check out what's in there, if you don't mind. I mean, there is a door that we don't know what lead, what it leads to. I mean, I, I don't see anything in there, right? You see some, like, in this one, some tools, like, but they don't seem very well. And they don't seem anything out of, like, beyond the standard equipment. Like, it looks like it's they're brand new still, but... They don't look like anything out of the ordinary. I'm like worried if we let Shanty touch anything, it's gonna like she's gonna <laughs> drop it and it's gonna clatter, <laughs> and you know we're gonna have like she's just gonna destroy it. Yeah, I'm so incompetent. I can't hold a single item in my hand without touching it. Uh... <laughs> Nobody else wants to touch anything. Trash. Also, make me a perception check real quick, because from... I think from where you are, you should be able to notice it. Yeah. Perception. Guidance. Okay, so that's an extra. An extra... Guidance. Uh, Be guided, young trash. Uh, twelve plus five. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, the one thing that in this whole thing that at first you kind of like weren't really paying attention to it necessarily. Uh, but it catches your eyes now due to one reason. Uh, you see a kind of a doll sitting on a shelf. Uh, as Shanty kind of got closer to you and like was asking about entering, you saw the, the doll's head move. Yeah, no, you're not going in there, Shanty. No way in hell. <laughs> what? Why? Because there's a fucking doll in there that's head just moved. Oh, Evil doll alert! <laughs> oh, it's gotta be some kind of like sentinel or something. No that way. doesn't, doesn't sound, sound safe. Since when have we been about safe? Uh, since the last since group of have... things almost murdered us. Okay, also, since si since we have like no spells. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like. How can you? Are you guys? Can't you guys do anything without spells? How hard is it to hit stuff with a stick? It's worked for millions of years. You think sticks against sticks against armor shanty? Think, <laughs> think real yes. hard. That works if you just swing hard enough. Yes, but then they swing, they swing a sword at me. They swing a sword at me. I I yeah, I hit then, them. Then... I tickle them, and then they slice me in half. Yeah, that's <laughs> not that. Do the math, shanty. Come on. Oh uh, lord! If you guys don't want me to play with the doll, that's fine. <laughs> it's not the well. It's not really the doll I'm worried about. It's the friends the doll is going to call. Oh, the little princess wants to play with her dolls. How cute! <laughs> Why would you want to play with the doll? The doll oh, sounds like very disturbing if it can move on its own. You know, if anyone hears the princess, it's you. Uh. <laughs> All right, review princesses. Fate princess. <laughs> right. Sure thing, um, my lady. 
<laughs> the prison is always in the presence of such royalty. I grab the door handle. <laughs> I move away. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own if you open that door. <clears throat> and I think we should at least check this room and see what's behind the door. Can I look and see if I see any of those dolls? I'm trying not like like. I don't want to get like. I guess I can get where where he is and like look through the window. Yeah, you can but... look through the window from where he was because he could see pretty decent. All right, I'm looking specifically for like dolls or anything like what I saw <laughs> in the other room. Uh, no dolls, at least not in this main floor right here. Okay. Th that room looks clear. Do, do you want to check to see if it's not trapped? I open. Yeah, I'll check the door just in case. Uh, slide just... of hand, right? Uh, investigation. investigation. Okay, that's to even check. better. Yeah. Should I get guidance just in case? <laughs> Can I just assume your guidance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you a can cancer. Keep... I just gotta move. That's the only. <laughs> yeah, guidance. She knows uh, your guidance. Thirteen plus one plus twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, doesn't. Here to be trapped and there's not locked. Okay, it's just like I think I think you're good. Just just be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. I'll open it. It opens relatively quietly, I mean it's it, it, it there is a noise to opening doors, especially when everything else is pitch silent. But it's not like you're fairly certain that it's... You... No creepy no. giggling? No. <laughs> you know, cause little dolls always make creepy giggling. She yeah. had the opening the door to the blacksmith. That's my one. So. <laughs> she already clicked on it. I saw her open the door. What? No! <laughs> you did it over here, too! Yeah! <laughs> Told her she's on her own if she goes in there. Ed. I'm not. I'm not taking the. <laughs> the path problem away. is the, the aura is too far away, so. <laughs> no one is going in with her. Everyone's no! too scared of the dogs. I, I I strongly <laughs> advised against it. No, no one cares about my my friendship. I see how it is. Uh... I care more about the creepy doll that's gonna murder us. So <laughs> you I was right behind you. And then I was requested for guidance, and I moved. <laughs> I... You want to go check out the creepy doll? You do your thing. You want a friend? Shani will go with you. Uh, some bookshelves here. There's a scroll, some, some scrolls here that are just kind of laying on the table. Uh, staircase goes up, and then there's the door back here. And to kind of help. Okay, I can go anywhere in this building. Cool. <laughs> this yeah, trash is, yeah, yeah, that helps. Trash will just like stand in the doorway. <laughs> there you go. Oh, trash needs to be one right. Which way? This way? No, right. There? Yeah, back where you were. Thank you. I wouldn't go upstairs, <laughs> though. No, probably not upstairs, but... Well, j just... Covers a lot of the area that I will... Go looking around. See if there's anything... That we don't notice on a first glimpse. Uh, probably mostly here. Okay, the scrolls? Yeah. Uh, they appear to be blank. Oh. It, seems like they, it seems like they were not written on yet. It just seems to be basic kind of parchment. Uh, one. The one that's on the table looks like it was being 
written on. It looks like it's a partially done map. What does it look like? It's a map of. Uh, it looks like it's some kind of a map of the the city where you're at. You can, you can see. Uh, not really much detail on it. It's you can tell that there's uh, the whole where you you see the rooms where you've been. You see there's a a larger section above the whole like to north of you guys up like way up here that's a, there's a room you know there's uh well two more hallways to the uh east along with what appears to be like five more rooms oh that's a lot of rooms one, one's larger, one's kind of medium, and three are very small. <laughs> and then the the medium and the large one are kind of surrounded by like some looks like a, a U-shaped hallway. Does it give me a size for this room? <laughs> What's behind the door? It looks. I think a little, like, it's not, you can't tell how much scale it is, because there's no scale or anything like that on there. But it's drawn slightly smaller than this one. Slightly, okay. So it's still pretty big. Yeah. Do you want to check the door out? I gotta run AFK real quick, uh, try not to yeah. break anything. <laughs> oh. That sounds Something like a tall order thing? with this crew. Yeah. I also say, because you had to go around this countertop, you can check up, you can, you can see above you, uh, Ronan, when you did that. Uh, you can see like a bed uh, and some minor furniture up top. It looks, it looks like a sleeping area above you. Uh, All right. Other than that, the only things of note, like I said, the bookshelves right here. Um, really, that's really about it in this room. Is that the last thing that really needs to be looked over before we think about opening the new door? So. I'll have us carrying through the books to see if any of them seem out of place. Uh, don't of them have any like like cover titles. They all seem like blank tomes. If that makes sense, like like there's no title on the tome, so you can't really tell what it is until open into looking into it. Uh, uh, should I start opening books? <laughs> <laughs> what is the likelihood that something bad happens if I open a book? Well, Field Medic's going to be joining you, you in that, investigating the bookshelves and poking through books. Uh, well, if Field Medic's opening books, my, I might as well do so. Go to investigation. Guidance on Rodin. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Thank you. You made my roll a 12. Hey. Too better. You guys, you guys open. Each kind of open a book. It, they're, the book's blank. I'm like, okay, we'll go to another one. That book's blank. Every book you open is completely blank. Could there be magic at play here? I don't want to use my only detect magic. Do we have time, uh, 10 minutes to ritual cast it? 
Of oh, Dio. Her the spell only, the the Phantom of Trace lasts an hour, so. What do you guys think? Yeah. You know, why don't we bring some books with us? And if we ever need to use detect magic. So what? So I know, I, like, when I was a little kid doing the um, invisible ink with the with the f flame to like. What would I roll to see if trash was? Because that would some of the thieves would use, right? Oh yeah. You, that's something that you definitely use. Uh, are there any, like, candles? Or... Mm -hmm. There's some, like... Not necessarily, like, candle candles, but there's, like, some Everflame torches just kind of lit. In that but they, do they don't really make heat, right? Because I think it needs heat to develop. Uh, it does give off heat. Like, if you were to stick your hand in it, it would probably hurt. It, it's, like, it's not a light. It's, like, flame that never goes out. So yeah, I I would see I would hold up a book just to see if it's they're using some kind of weird turnip ink that only appears like with heat or something. Hey, a weird turnip ink. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem to have any reaction. No. Oh okay. yeah. You know, just 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 a thought. Could um. I don't want to burn my third level. I do have dispel magic. And that was my thought to dispel one of these, just to see if something pops up. But I don't want to burn my third level. Can we grab a book for later? Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. Like, grab a book or two or three. Do they have anything on the spines, or are they just blank? Just grab a few books for when we do cast Detect Magic in a more important area. Rough estimate, there's... Probably because like there's two bookshelves. Uh, let's see, rough estimate maybe like twenty to thirty books, and every single one of them seems to be blank. They so, like grab three books from each bookshelf from different locations. Yeah, I think Sheena would try to look for the one that was like the oldest. Do they look different? Yeah, or they that all have was... the same kind of binding. I mean, they have different kind of binding. It, 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 at a glance, like if you were just looking at the thing, it just looks like a personal collection of books. Mm -hmm. Just like they're different, varying ages, and like some of that. It looks like it was at current glance because it, everything looks blank. It looks like somebody set up a a library shelf. To look like a library shelf. That makes sense. Oh, it's like one of those fucking like stacks of books you can get at like half price that you just use as filler books for your bookshelf. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This entire thing is at the moment. Just like a stage. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna grab ones that are fancy looking. Like just grab three of them that are have like maybe gild gilding on the cut on the um edges or the binding or anything. Yeah, Sheena's going for the oldest ones. She'll grab a couple. Easy enough. I'll just grab two at random. <laughs> I have no care which books I grab. My plan is, while I'm not taking the books to, like, you know, bring them with me, I am just going to start taking the books off the shelf and piling them up to see if there's anything on the shelves behind the book that were hidden by the books or to make the bookshelves lighter so that I could potentially remove one from the wall. Yeah, you can easily enough uh, kind of <clears throat> empty one bookshelf and kind of look behind the wall. Crash is cringing because you're making noise. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh... Behind the wall, uh, behind the shelf, it seems to be a uh, bare wall. You kind of pat your hand across it, and then it's, there's uh, no like stones that seem off. There's it. The weirdest thing about these shelves are there's two things that are weird about these shelves. One. 
the books. <laughs> uh, and two, the shelf itself is like this, uh, it seems like a wooden shelf. Uh, though, give me an intelligence check. All right. Since you moved it. <laughs> Magic 2027. 20, okay. okay. So, with that, you... A, sh a shelf, even even emptied as you did it, of this size and material should A, way more, and B, have made more noise when you slid it. It almost made no noise when sliding it. Interesting. It's like, for, the best way I can describe it for, like, from player perspective, it's like you see, if you saw a, a wood shelf, but it's actually, like, painted styrofoam, you know how light that would be compared to, like, a wooden shelf? We're in some DM's tabletop place. It. It's, it's like a prop. Yeah. Well, fascinating. And I'm going to express that to the rest of the party. More evidence of things not being very real. So do we keep moving, or where do we want to go now? Uh, the door that we can't see past. This one over here? Whoops, I didn't mean to open it. Uh, yes, it's that kind one. of a... It looks like a, like a metal iron door. I'd rather you check for the usual. Yeah, um, Maria, are you moving in? Because you're, like, kind of on the edge. I'm just going to assume you are because you're probably not paying attention. Oh, yeah. All right, so investigate. May I have a guidance? Uh, just Let's just say do uh, shuttles taking a call. Okay. I mean, it doesn't cost her anything, so I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, 17 plus 9 for investigate. Uh, it is not locked, and there does not appear to be any traps as well. Um, so yeah, she'll step aside and let you guys, like, or I, I guess, open it. See weird shit, I guess. Uh... Maybe step aside, because even though she does magic, I don't think she does, like, smart magic. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like... I see, like, what looks like a summoning circle or something, so that's all field medic mm -hmm. and stuff. So I don't do that shit. Yeah, glancing in there, you see... Looks like some sort of alchemy table to the bottom. Uh, a, a metal slab with which is like a rib cage and a human skull, uh, along with some tools and instruments to the side, a desk that seems to have some jars on it, uh, that appear to be empty, uh, and a table that has a hand, uh, a jar with a pale pink red liquid, a goblet, and it looks like a uh, some alchemy, alchemy tools. It's almost as if this room was made for me. And the medic starts poking around every little thing in that room. Uh, go ahead and roll investigation. <laughs> I still roll low on that. Mm. Uh, I'll also just go around looking at everything. Go ahead and investigation as well. Uh, no give you both information based on what 
I was given. Uh, what's my investigation again? That's a good question. That'd be. Alright. Uh. Easy enough, even with, with the. I'm giving even with the 14 for the field medic, because field medic's expertise is alchemy. So the DC was a little bit lower for them. Uh, but both of you together have, can point, figure out a few things. First, uh, the bones are real. Uh, they appear to be relatively new still. They don't appear to like... They appear to... Like, nothing in here seems like has that same like weird... It should, looks like it should be... You feel like it should be older, but it's not. Uh... The hand here is, uh, looks like it's a fake kind of, like, diorama of a hand. Alright. The goblet is full of that white, that white wine. And the pinkish potion seems to be a diluted healing potion? Was, uh, it's hard to tell, but... It, if you had to guess, maybe it's a help potion combined with that white wine. Well, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna glance over towards um, Rodin and say, you know, all of this is starting to feel a lot like set dressing, as if we have stumbled into a high budget play of some kind. You mentioned that, and you look at the all the the alchemy table here. And, yeah, that's the vibe you get. It's the tools on there. They're, they're almost right, but they're not quite right. Not even useful for, like, a practice set you would give to a kid <laughs> learning this stuff. It looks like somebody who has, who, who had very minimal knowledge, and even that's a stretch. Yeah. Very like you, you could use them, but he wouldn't have the same, the right measurements. Like, everything, nothing's the right measurement. Very they're odd. Not, they're not the metric version of the of an olympic and a retort. <laughs> they're in cups, cups and ounces, not uh, milliliters. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> and even then, like if it, if it was a cup, it's not even a like the thing that would be labeled a cup is like technically half of a cup or quarter of a cup. It's like nothing's nothing's correct, but ever so slightly not correct. Before we move on, make sure Shuttle knows that there's b actual bones in here, because doesn't she like to play with bones? She yeah. was collecting bones. <laughs> and is the skull real? Yes. The skull and the rib is real. Okay, maybe we could talk to it. It's got a mouth, right, technically? Try <laughs> talk to it. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, doesn't I guess. Shuttle have Speak Possible. of the Dead? Ooh. Yes, if anybody has Speak of the Dead, that would be very useful. Like, I don't know if she has... It, I think it was a limited use, but she said she might have something along those lines now. I don't know. But. I think she does. I think it's under her Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And I'll also give the drain that goes down there. Kind of glancing down and using some light it dead ends in, in both directions the drain's not even real <laughs> like it goes so if I find a toilet probably shouldn't use it right <laughs> <laughs> I mean it goes far enough that like if you weren't looking for it you'd be like oh that's real everything just gives this weird like it's like a like stage. Said, like, a, like a stage, yeah. 
Like I said, set dressing. Almost unsettling. Because how could someone fake a whole city? Well, you go online and you buy <laughs> I, dungeon tiles. And <laughs> the pale ward is going to be some geek at a game shop. <laughs> it's, it's pale because of the pale white skin. Uh, so, so you're basically say, saying is the Pearl Lord's really just one of us in a game shop somewhere in the world. We're stuck. We're actual, pe like, the indie characters in a real world game on somebody's tabletop. <laughs> oh, that's always scary. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Ooh. Now here's a question for you, GM. Are there any mm -hmm. games in this particular world that you know, do anything like that? Is there anything the equivalent of Dungeons and Dragons in your in Islar? Uh. And if so, I should I roll for like, it? <laughs> it's probably more like. Some sort of like storytelling like games, but they're not probably like to the point of like where you would uh, think of it more like um, what is it called? You know the I want to say Mad Libs, but not quite to that extent. Where like someone would say would would, would describe something and then like like telephone. Or you just continue the story. Gotcha. If that makes sense. No, I know. I know that game. That would probably be the the closest thing to to. But everything here is just. It's weird because it's like, like I said, it's it's like set dressing, but at the same time, those nights were very, very deadly and very real. Just still sort of waiting for Shadow to get back. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else I can give you guys. Hmm. It was Rodin and Shanty who found the other equipment, right? I don't think I found it. Uh, oh, the the it pile was me and uh, yeah, the one the pile of equipment in the back room of the in the bar. Yeah, it was me and Roden, I think. Uh, could both of you make me an intelligence check for me? <sighs> oh, good. Hey, hold on, I gotta look at what my intelligence. I needed a good roll for that. Hurry. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh, well, 18, <laughs> again. Mm -hmm. uh, both of you kind of, like, did you, did you just leave the, you left the equipment back there, I imagine. Yeah, we didn't bring it, because it, none of it seemed to be any of any use. Yeah, it was all very deteriorated. Um, some of the, like, the helmet, one of, like, one of the helmets looks like, 
generally just by the size of the skull might have fit this person. Oh, that's a previous adventure. Uh, it seems, hmm. You guys both got it. The highest get was a 14, I believe, for your investigation. A 14 and 18. Ah, 18. With that knowledge, does do Trash and Rota want to look at the bones any more in detail? Um, sure, why not? I'll, I'll, uh, look at them. What do you want, an investigation roll? Investigation or perception, your choice. Yeah, I'll... I'm, I'm going to assume guidance. If that's all right. I know she's AFK, but, like, she's been throwing it out. So. I'll assume that as well. Yeah, I'll look at them, but with perception, because that's my best... Oh, good. Ah, Gina, nice. there's bones. We found bones. Uh, 16 plus 9. I, I guidance. Back. I don't know what somebody's rolling guidance. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. 16 plus 9. Uh, that's guidance. Because uh, that's... that's math. I got to do it. I can't do math. Yeah. Less. 25-ish. Yeah. Uh, so to catch up, you know, like people come to the conclusion that this, this is all like set dressing. The oh, sewage, the sewer like dead ends. All the tools are not quite right. They're fake. The only thing real here seems to be the bones here. And we think they're from the armor that we found earlier in the bar. One of the sets, yeah. Uh, looking with with the with your. Both your uh, investigation perceptions, there's clear marks across the bones. Um, especially Rodin and Trash, you both being very nature oriented, this seems almost like these are kind of the marks that would somebody would, would have like bones or would have something eating the meat off of the bones not like you know what I'm saying okay uh, somebody ate this guy there's cannibals <laughs> or something maybe not cannibals but you know something that ate well we did see that weird crazy guy yeah but he doesn't seem interested in food so maybe because he wasn't hungry <laughs> maybe he only eats maybe he only eats adventurers <laughs> That's true. It's also <laughs> possible that he's part of the set dressing. I mean, I'd possibly eat adventures if all I had to eat was turnips. <laughs> adventures are probably tastier. But then again, aren't the turnips also people? I don't know if they're people, but they talked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she, you know, there's bones. You like bones, right? What? Sorry, yeah. D d sorry, Raven came in. What? <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a skull and uh, some bones over here. Um, if you, I don't know if you can talk to this guy. Uh, that right? uh, yeah. That's a new thing that I have. I can try. Let's. Uh, it might help get us some information about what's going on here. Okay, I need to pull up a, I think it's five questions. Hold on. Yeah. According to the movie, it's five questions. What movie? The D&D &D movie. And it is oh, five questions. Oh, I haven't seen it. You say that, but from what I know, it's it's pretty not accurate to read the Yeah, I, it, 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 
it, it has a lot of little things that are, aren't accurate, but they make for, for for very fun cinema. Like if Shino had that many wild shapes. Oh yeah, but that would be so awesome. Yeah, I wasn't gonna go see it, but I promised Trevor I would go see like one movie a month. So I was like, all right, well, I guess that's it because I don't want to see. That was the only thing like watchable for me. Yeah, of course, most still Malvin cannot be undead. The spell fails if it was targeted with a spell within the last ten days. Until the spell ends, you can ask up to question up to f five questions in the last ten minutes. Uh, corpse only knows what it knew in life, including the languages it knew. Great. So if it doesn't speak common, uh, based on its look, does it look like it was a dwarf or like does it, is it you know like it, it appears either human or elven or something? Or I could might even be half elven. I can so do it a medicine like a check. dwarf would have a really like strong jaw or something, you know, because they're. Yeah. Want me to do a medicine check to specific to to get more specific on what this might be? Or should I say, can I do a medicine check? Sure. sure. Hmm, that one's do one. Uh, judging from like, it's hard to tell whether or not it's elf or human. More likely, it might be. A mix. So probably half elf. Hmm. Looks like this one has both human and elven ancestry. All right. Um, Shino will uh, pull out some. I'm trying to think of what her speak with dead would be. Um, and I feel like. She would probably take out like a. Uh... Actually, yeah, because she has a human skull, so she'd probably take out a human skull and put some like a uh, um, some sort of like plant component in it, some dried, uh, dried, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dried material, and maybe some like bark and stuff, and she'd uh, she basically start burning it and to create a smoke and then the smoke would kind of go through um and animate the body basically uh and yeah and she would uh cast speak with dead smoke kind of like curls around the eye so in the eye sockets and eventually you see the mouth part open and like like something like it's inhaling but there's nothing there's no sound because there's no nothing but bone you see the smoke being pulled into the mouth and not at the bottom and it just kind of like it's waiting i'm so very sorry to disturb you and bring you back to this plane she'll just apologize first <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys want to ask? To the group, not to the thing. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, how did you die? I mean, yeah, I don't. How, I, yeah, how did you die? Like, would be my first I think one. Knowing how it died. Okay. How did you die? Clatters and. You hear, like, the best way to describe the voice is, like, a voice being made of, like, wind through a bone flute. The arm, arm, and they surrounded and killed us. Right, so oh wow, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. They almost got us too, huh? Mm hmm. Uh, yes, they're quite strong. Maybe what were they doing here? I don't know. Like, we think that this was a champion, right, from upstairs. 
Or the person in the sarcophagus, or am I getting that confused? No, this is no, this, this is someone who oh. someone who came down here. Oh, okay. I'm I got it. And left their, uh, the only reason we think this is because their helmet is in the room that we did a short rest. And they may or may not have been eaten by the barkeeper. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. There's like gnaw marks on the bones. Oh. Yeah. We we could ask we could ask who ate them, but it, you know it was dead. I think <laughs> it was dead. I think. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, you never know. We could have been eating him alive. I don't think never. <laughs> well, then, whatever ate him would have killed him. That's true. The armor didn't eat him, probably. Mm -hmm. I'd hope not. <laughs> I'm not uh, bold assumption. Um. I mean, what were they doing here? Yeah, one? what were they doing here? What do they know about the Pale Lord? What, uh... Yeah, let's do... What do you know about the Pale Lord? Let's do that first. Yeah. This is his domain. He has... Eyes... Throughout. He commands the knights. He commands... All within the cities. Maybe doll. That's him. Wait, did you catch that? Cities. 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 Plural. Plural. It's the city and then the, and the city one above. Above, right? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Or it could be. No. <laughs> what are the, what are the Let's not waste the. What are we? Uh, what's, eyes up with, what's up with the turnips? What's up with? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eyes are out the cities. This is his domain. What else did he say? Controls the knights. He controls. 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 I'm assuming the knights means not the not the time frame of night, but the armor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three more. I mean, what's up with the turnips? What were you doing down here? What year is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, let, what were uh, I? Uh, what uh, were you doing here? We were investigating a cropped up city. It appeared, believe there might be fame and fortune, but only found death. Yikes. <laughs> Turns to Rodin, and why did your girlfriend tell us about this place? <laughs> Was she trying to girlfriend. off you already? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, like, it brings a whole new level to ghosting. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> Second off, it was actually the Baywild one that meant oh, so, so your mistress got it well, maybe she's jealous mm. yeah jealous she of her be sister the third wheel yeah yeah oh you people <laughs> okay two more <laughs> two more uh like i said what do you know about the turnips but or the, the root radishes, whatever they are. Uh, let's see. I don't know. What other questions do we have for them? Do you know how to go down? <laughs> like, oh, where's the next yeah. level? Like, I don't know how far they got. Ex they managed to explore in here before they got eaten, but... Yeah. Do you know how to get to the lower levels? Or 
town is further and it kind of like they'll give you directions but basically it's effectively from what you saw on that map it's all the way to the east once there you lead down into the next city there's Wait. further down but I could not we could not find that one how many cities are there <laughs> cities all the way down <laughs> I mean, a lot more serious than I thought. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't ha have any idea for a question. So the only other one I thought of was like, what happened to all the people up top? But he might, they might, whatever, not know. So yeah, I guess let's. If and no one has any other thoughts, I'll ask how many how many cities are there. Speak up now. Yeah, I can't think of anything else other than like. <laughs> what maybe if he knows a general pattern that would help us? Like, is there something that would help us progress through this maze? They didn't get very low, he said, I thought. Right? They couldn't find the yeah, way down went... after the next one. Yeah. yeah, they went to the lower city, but couldn't figure out how to get further lower. Fair enough. It's just like, maybe if they found out about a symbol that would guide them in a certain direction, knowing that symbol would be... Do high. you have any tips or tricks for defeating this dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the ABAB up, down, up, down, Chico, please. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, if you make a dungeon, you make a way for your lackeys to get through it without. This is true. I mean, but the lackeys can but... face their walls, dude. Yeah. I learned that from a. I learned that from a book called NPCs. You, you, you could also, if you wanted to, just, just an idea. If you want to, you see what they know about the next level. See if that helps at all. Yeah, I think that would be. Yeah, that might be useful. Like, what's the next level like, like? Knowing how many levels there are won't help us, because we still have to get through them anyway. Oh, and he didn't get past the last level, so he doesn't know. That's a good yeah. question. That's a good point. They only got to the next level, but so that's... Okay. So, everybody okay with what do you know about the next city? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you know? One last Sounds question, and me. then I'll let you go. What do you know about the next city below? Smaller than this one. A couple buildings. Um, mostly a market. Door leads out into what we believe to be the Underdark ravines of fog and mist, but a large archway at the bottom of a, at the edge of the cliff we believe that might have had a way down or lead somewhere not sure got ambushed there before we could investigate it more ambush okay yeah The skull kind of like the mouth was slightly open and it just kind of shuts. I feel really hopeful now. It'll be fine. What kind of bones are on here, other than the skull? Is it just a rib cage? Yeah. Is it all intact? Other than the gnawing on it, yeah. Just a little chewed. It's still good. Okay. 
I should not want to take a whole rib cage. <laughs> you, I mean, you could break one off easy, pretty easy, probably. But yeah, but is that disrespectful? That's like a line. I don't know. Well, it's just a show. I, I don't know. Probably, there's probably like, like a cut, like like something pierced the chest. But it's not, not like there's a whole rib missing. It's more like something pierced between the ribs, basically. More likely some sort of sword, given what you just heard. I should leave it. Okay, so to the east. Yeah. Yeah, do we want to just go and, like, not worry about exploring. I mean, a lot I'm a of things. worried about running into shit. I, a lot and of none things of just seem fake. Yeah, none of it seems to be real. So, is it worth like? I don't think so. Possibly getting yeah. caught. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. And there's like, like a slim chance, chance that there that might be something, something of value, value, but I don't think it's worth. Yeah. I mean, I can always have uh, Gregory look around, but he oh, yeah, only he really finds, finds shiny things, really. But he could also alert uh, guards. <laughs> yeah, how stealthy is Gregory? It's not very. Let's just get to the next level since we know how to get there. Okay. We know how to get there? You just said to the east, so we just kind of mm, head that way. Yeah, because because Roden looked at that map and the directions that were given, Roden knows it's basically up through these archways and then basically just follow the archways east all the way. <laughs> Pretty straight shot, actually. Not much of a man. <laughs> I mean, there's more to it, but that's the, uh, the it's not, it's designed as a market, effectively, or a place, a city. Alley city, technically. Just wait on trash. Sorry, I wandered off for a second. <laughs> that's right. Yep. Uh, so east. East. So just keep going, I guess, this way east, up here, east. Yeah. Because yeah, it looks like there's a dead end over here. Yeah, then we go this way. I'm just going to assume everybody's sticking together. Yeah. This way. Yeah, it just says pretty much east. So I guess I see it down here. I can drag you guys over to this hallway. Is that a yeah, fountain? that'd be helpful. I could kick yeah, eating into was... the window rather than the door. Is that a fountain and mm -hmm. a tree? Like, like a kind of like a underground park, effectively. Now, are the is the nature real? <laughs> yeah, is that just like a fig tree? Makes sense because there's no dirt; it's stone, but it's just growing out of the stone. Yeah, I feel like both the druids would be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I don't want to waste a spell slot, but for speak with plants, don't you have? Beast and isn't there a furball thing? There is. Um, it's only like medium conversations, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's like limited. I can communicate in a limited manner. Though I have no special way to understand them in return. Uh, do me a favor, both the druids, go ahead and make me a nature check. Let's see what you can figure out, just by looking at the, the this foliage, see if you can figure out about it. 
guidance on myself. Uh, um, nature. Death nature. Oh, dirty twenty. Oh, uh oh. Twenty-two. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, both of you. Gotta two up me. Yeah. <laughs> quite easily tell that these are not real. Yeah. What is with this place? They're. What actually? Statues. As you get closer, you can tell they're they're carved from stone and painted. To give that the look, give a look of a of a like garden. I mean, pretty well sculpted, sculpted <laughs> statues. Yeah, and they look pretty uh, real. <laughs> they look real, but they don't. Of course, they don't pass that like touching it. Like, but like from a distance and even up, up close, it's really very detailed work. Hmm. Well, that's interesting to know. Not really helpful, though. <laughs> no, but, I mean, obviously the people that are down here are very skilled with stone. Like, very skilled, because we both yeah, thought so that was a real tree. Who knows what else they made out of stone. Or, you know, this was all, like, conjured, right? At least that's sort of, what we think. Are you sure it's even stone? That bookshelf back there that I moved was very light, as if it was made from a different material other than wood. Could we tell with our tw 20 and 22 that if this was stone or another material made to look like stone? Uh, that's... Uh, I'll say, yeah, you can tell. It, 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 this looks like more like it was carved from, like, like if you kind of, like, etch, like, some of the, the, the paint that's kind of there, basically, it matches the same stone as the, the ground and the walls. So it looks like they, basically, when they carved this out, they purposely carved it out and carved the tree out at the same time. Like, this was, when the, when this, when they made this garden itself, they they planned out where they wanted the trees. So it's it's appears to be the same stone. Fucking weird. All right, down a floor to a new city, and then I will hit. Then I will copy you guys into the next level and then I will drag you guys there. Uh, I need to make Raven lunch if we could take our break now. That would be great. Sorry. Oops. No, you're fine. It's a good timing for a break. Yeah, I was like, since you're going down. Uh, we'll take a break, but I will also just drag the thing over to here so that way you guys can see it. Sounds good.
matter, Pancake? Oh. Feel good when I put you backwards. Huh? You like that? You're dumb. Just right there. Let's Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm back to welcome back. Hmm. Welcome back. Who are we waiting on, Drift? 
Never left. <laughs> I I assumed you never left, Jesse. Yeah, so, it's just grills. Yeah. The kittens have brought in a cockroach. <clears throat> hmm? Alive or dead? Apparently it's still alive, sadly. And it just put it into my uh, pants. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the pants are on the ground. They're all pants, but still. <laughs> the kitten has hunted. I mean, it caught a mouse a couple of weeks ago, so... Mm -hmm. I just don't like it bringing a cockroach into my room. It's, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know. Cat does what cat does. It's like when, uh, my sister's cat, uh, Brought a spider and set it on top of her while she was in bed. Still alive. <laughs> Plays a bit of tits. 
Cat's like, it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> It wasn't a big spider, but still, it's not something you want just dropped on you when you're trying to go to sleep. Oh, dude, talking about big spiders, fucking probably like not even like five to six hours ago, walked down to the bathroom, big ass fucking huntsman right in the corner. Oh, dear. <sighs> Two hours later, I needed to go again because, you know, lots of coffee. And uh, went down there, it's gone. Can't find it. I'm scared. It has vanished into the night, like the shinobi. It has probably come inside. Shinobi spiders. There was a shinobi game that I played. I think it was like Ninja Gaiden or something like that. Not like Ninja Gaiden, but super old school on the PS One. I played. Well, there was, I can't remember the name of the game, but I, the thing I remember is the character had a really. It was it was some sort of ninja game on like the like I think it was on PlayStation One, but he had like a really like long red scarf. I'm pretty sure that's Ninja Gaiden. Might be. It's it's, it's been so long, but I don't I don't remember. Oh, it was PlayStation <coughs> 2, and it was just it's called Shinobi. Actually, your Ninja Gaiden has a black scarf. Ah, uh, Shinobi. E. Um. God, that was 21 years ago at this point. When that game came out. Tenchu. That's the one. Tenchu. Ever wanted to hate yourself after level three? Mm -hmm. Back. <laughs> That's right. Used to. Maybe I think I heard you say. But I heard Grizz. I thought I heard. Grizz. You did. <laughs> I'm here. Grizz. Maybe I was wrong. I thought I had Chris. I wonder. If uh, oh, testing. Wonder if testing. No, oh, she said something. God, she did. Again. Thing, are you not working today? Test. Microphone test. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, good. Now you can hear me. I can hear you guys just hey, fine, and we could do. Yeah, already hear you. you. Just you couldn't hear us, I guess. No, I could hear you guys just yeah. fine. I couldn't. Uh, you guys couldn't hear me. Oh. I think it stopped. Like it worked for a second and then cut out <laughs> because we heard well, you. Like, you come said back. that you were back and that died. Yeah. <laughs> so, Grizz, PS One games. Yes, no. Oh, uh, in what context? Like, what games are you talking about? Uh, have you ever played Tenchu? Uh, I don't think so. Damn. I really, really wish I could. It's literally, uh, um. I think. Uh. Uh, what is it called? Back in the day. Almost like. Oh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Probably heard of that, right? Yeah, yeah, I've got a copy of that. I played a little. Yeah, now, now think that, but make yourself a ninja, and you've got to be trying to take out most of the people in the, these, like, villages and everything. Ninja style with, like, a gory, uh, what? And kill the one shot too. I'm pretty sure. So, oh, oh boy. Oh. 
to have patched up. Hey. Twenty-one. That's not bad. Ooh, 14. Uh, Field Medic is tripping over themselves today. Uh, I think we're just machine shanty. Yeah, I have guidance. <clears throat> Oh no. Quentin. Wake up, Quentin. Oh yeah, sorry. You have guidance. Okay. Steel. 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 Uh, Don't worry. So far, no one has failed the stealth check. Even the <laughs> one who uh, <laughs> rolled in that one? D4. <laughs> Correct, because the person may have also gotten a nat one. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so lucky. Oh, uh, plus 10, that beats them still. Uh, so. A few things before your characters move any further. Once you guys enter in here, you'll notice a few things. Uh, one most primary is the statue in front of you. Uh, even from the back, you can see this, a similar posture as the statue above in that flower crown, uh, but made out of a similar stone as the f ground bricks, the bricks around you. The other thing is, I think everyone's passive. Yeah, everyone's passive. Uh, here's what sounds like uh, movement of metal on metal off in this direction. There is something moving. I'd hazard to guess that that's one of those armor things. Probably. <clears throat> That'd be my guess. I'm sorry, I missed the ping. Where was it? I was all, still scrolled all the way down to the corner. Uh, Which direction was it? Okay, off, off in that off direction. In this direction, yeah. Further that way, like not just behind the arch, but like in that general direction. It it rolled like a seven on its stealth. <laughs> Disadvantage with heavy armor, man. That sucks. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Do we want right, to try to like Doesn't ambush it? Or sneak around it? I mean, if we try to ambush it, it might call its friends. True. I forgot. Pass without a trace is concentration, so I'm just going to do that in case we do get into combat. Uh, the other thing is, like, a door here, and there's the two two archways to, to the that you see here. here well, if we think we heard it over here, maybe we should go. And these are uh, stairs going up to like a was... rampart looking thing? Yeah. I mean, there's also just a door directly in front of us. And Isn't like... that where we came down? This here? No, like down. There's a door down. Yeah. There's oh, a, okay. Big... I, did, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. I'm right. Yeah, there's, there's a gate here. The walls kind of lead up to the ceiling. But there's like little gaps. Oh, that's uh, right. Did dude like describe this as like a marketplace and an archway that may have? Yeah, next level is smaller, it. like a market. Door leads out to the underdark, large archway at the end of the cliff. There was an ambush, but they believe that that large archway, archway. at the end, whatever. Like yeah. All right. So was uh, the way down. But they can figure it out. Let's just forget this place, because I doubt there's anything of value in here. Probably more of that fake shit. Yeah, most likely. Somebody likes playing with a dollhouse. <laughs> hmm, dollhouse, that sounds interesting. Here I was thinking, some kind of set for a performance. 
But yeah, I'm all for going straight south. Just going. Shoom. Mm -hmm. You're free to move because I'm just going to keep that stealth check. So the skeleton said that the Pale Lord had eyes in every city and was watching. Mm -hmm. Can Sheena, while they're walking around, or I guess walking down here, try to see if there's anything that the Pale Lord could be watching through? Ooh, like the statue? Well, <laughs> or like the yeah. knight <laughs> that I see all the way uh, back there. Go ahead and make a perception search, you know. Uh, got you got this. No, I don't got this. Uh, you clearly got this. Guidance will fix all your problems. Uh, perception. Um, not horrible. 18? 18? Uh, you don't... As you're walking past and even like looking at the statue, like up at the statue, you don't see any visual indications. Uh, it, might, it might have sight through the night. You're not 100% sure how that works. Uh... If there's no visual sight, the only thing, only thing you could think of is maybe like invisible sensors, like scrying sensors, stuff like that. But uh, as we move towards that mar uh, arch, uh, Trash is just going to be on high alert because the skull mentioned a an ambush, possibly. So just, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have Reese do a look around. See if he can see anything. Did Rouge roll a stealth check? Oh, uh, If Rouge is on your shoulder, I'm not going to force it, but they fly, I will. Okay, well, you they got a 38 if, as long as they stay in, in my radius. I'm not good at stealth. Reese is an expert at stealth, quite literally. Uh, I know said seen stuff, so... As... We'll actively look around to see if they can see anything. The only thing, like... You... Uh, when... Are they just flying in this, basically in the circle? This bubble. Yeah, just staying around the bubble, looking around. Uh, the only the only thing they notice is the this night over like this that, that you guys can see kind of over. Uh, you guys kind of notice this left side here, and he's they're currently messing with something. Uh, that's glowing a bit of a purple color to it. I mean. If we can, if we want, we can start bombarding him from like all the way over here. I'm worried about him finding other. Like, there's more that going to be more than one. True. It doesn't appear this knight has any weapons, or legs. Or, or legs. Shuna, sure, would you be able to talk to it if it's dead? Only once a day. Well, and if it's she can't do necromancy either. If it's that we think we just figured out that they were necromancy. If it's undead, yeah, that doesn't work on them. Wait. Oh, yeah. I'm I mean, I can go make a friend if you want. <laughs> it also but... needs to have a body, and they they are just suits of armor. Uh, uh, does that spell... Because when they're undead, I can understand, like, when they're animated, the spell not being able to. But, like, what if something becomes a zombie, and then you kill it, and it's no longer a zombie, it's just a regular corpse again? Then it's no no longer undead. It's oh, now okay. redead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dead too. So so what you're saying know. is, if this thing has a corpse and we kill it, we could do it. Too. But it's I just it's just, it's just animated armor. It's like a spirit animating uh, armor. Yeah, it's got to have a mouth too. Everyone's were kind of like there's nothing to them. This one has like a like the armor is filled with a blue glow. I just no, hold out. This one's different. I'll yep. just uh, take out uh, my bow and be like, just just tell me when. 
I'm not aiming at it, but like I'm I'm ready for it. Okay. I I, I it's like it's one of those like do we do we talk to it uh-huh. or do we risk like like revealing that we're down here? We're trying to be sneaky, but it, if it's the other ones were purple, this one's blue. You said. Yeah, the other ones didn't have any fire in them. They were just kind of like hollow. This one actually has a like a blue flame kind of glow to it. And it's messing with something purple. Yeah, it's messing with like a purple light that's on the, that's on the ground. Like a soul flame is what you're saying. Could be, yeah. Mm-hmm. But whatever it is is keeping it aloft. In lieu of legs, it basically the bottom is basically this, this, this torrent of flame. Mm. I'm not exactly keen on making friends, but you know. Neither am I. Like the little last... friends or attacking? Uh, attacking I mean, the friends. last time, well, the last time we messed with those guys, Shido and I got fucked up pretty good. I'm not saying go mess with them. Well, you're... Yeah, well, shooting it with a bow and arrow is messing with it, dude. I, I'm just saying, if it starts attacking us, better get... It hasn't seen off. us, so... I'm just saying, like, once it does, you know... It's not gonna. We're sneaking. Uh-huh. It's gonna be stealthy. Well, who are too? We should we just... just... Ignore it and go go through the gate to the south and keep an eye out for possible ambush. Yeah. And also, you know, if we did something with it, we'll risk being spotted by Paylord. Because it does Skull said that it he has or it has eyes everywhere. Does this founder statue look exactly the same as the one that was higher yes. up? It, it, it's definitely also from just from a, a look at it. It is newer than the city. Like, it gives sense like they found the city and then they built a statue here. And the face is still blank. Yes. Although that's more like a. Accurate depiction from what I remember. Burnt face. Oh, was it burnt? Oh, something, something to the face. Yes, yeah, so uh, it was of marred to the face. Mm. So, either, either a, they didn't want their face etched any or recorded anywhere because of that, or. B, they wore something that made gave him more of a blank face. Oh, no, is it Chuckles? He didn't really have a face. No, but he had a smiling, like a, like a, like a, like a mask. Yeah, that's true, smile. he had a mask with a smile. Yeah, it's, I also feel like, like it would be too quick. Nondescript. It doesn't even look like it. it, doesn't, it there's no mask like, etched onto it, it's just, there's just no face. Yeah. Yeah, I'm heading south for the arch. As long as everybody else is cool with that. <sighs> also, back to the glaze. Now, I'm yeah. not going to be stupid and try and open this door without someone who knows what they're doing checks it, checking it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. Oh, there might dear. be a trap on it or some kind of alarm that may be by why they got. Ambush. Give you guidance for when you check it out. I just need behind you. Yeah. To tell you. They probably didn't have great stealth. They probably Tiny wanted to see. Come ah, back. It moved. <laughs> what moved? Ah, what moved? The, the <laughs> only entity that we need to care about. <laughs> what? I, oh. I was paying attention to it because I knew we should keep an eye on it. There it is. Oh, where? It's moved closer to the arch. It's now messing with another kind of light. Oh. Wow. All right. Oh, so I'm rolling and investigate on, on this on this door. Okay. 
Uh, uh, well, I got a 14, I guess, total. Well, it does not appear to be trapped or locked. I got a three, a two, and a nine on investigate. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Trash is just kind of shrugs and like, yeah, look, looks good to me. Keeping an eye out for an ambush as well. While this yeah, can I perceive on. to see if I hear? I mean, not that these guys make a lot of noise, but like, can I do a perception check at the door? Like. Yeah, but- Oh, that's not good. Five plus... I got a, whole, a whopping ten. I'm going to go for a shaman, because she's kind of looking out since she was warned about it. Uh, I didn't call it, so I won't count the guidance. Um, but I did 14 plus 21. Uh, there's no sound outside there other than, you know, like potential like draft and some of that like it's there's no like sound of metal there's no like walking or motion the only the only sound that's that similar is what you hear, hear up up to north there from that or the individual Shana will give you the thumbs up seems clear okay so well, trash is going to open the door i guess uh, roll stealth. Boy. Ugh. 23 total. Is that with the plus 10? Yeah. Yeah, you start opening it. It's one of those ones where you got to cut it's like a wheel to lift it. Mm, like a particleist or something. Very slowly lifting it as you hear it. Leaving. Slow, so it's not making as much noise as if you would just quickly open it. But eventually, it does open, and you were met with a large arcane archway on a cliff. There's, there's nothing that you can see straight through it. There's appears to be something missing from one of. There's like four slots on it. Three of them have crystals, and one of them does not. Why do I feel like we're going to have to go back and get a crystal from that dude? <clears throat> crystals are a different color in on that one than those ones down there. Or up there, technically. Are they all the same colored crystal? Yeah, they're all this like purple color. I mean, the thing has been messing with purple lights, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's messing with for smaller than what you need. But like tor- that... like torch-type things? Yeah. It doesn't mean there might not be something in one of the buildings. There are three buildings that you can... That you guys know Trish, Trish is just across. like, crap, we got to go back and look for something. Well, Shanty, get your wish. We get to we get to fight that thing. Or try I wasn't fast. wishing for it. <laughs> You're saying Wait, like we... if we all felt it at the same time. Felt it with what, dude? Oh, it's I moved know, again. A bunch of range things. <laughs> moved to exactly where I thought it would move to. Arrows, what, spells. What is moved? The, the... The night that I've been watching. It moves when you watch it, then. Right. It doesn't move when you watch it, it just moves. It's like messing with the, with the purple crystal lights. It, its movement is just basically just floating. Yeah. I mean, it also seems predictable. It seems to just be going about some sort of maintenance, basically. Yeah. It'll go about there next. All right. So, do we want to like just slip, try to slip through here, and like try to stay to cover, and 
look for what whatever we need to find. Hopefully. I mean, has it? Like when it's moved, does it just go straight to its task next task without really looking around? It looks around. It's on alert. The only time it's not really looking around when it's actively fidgeting with its item. It seems to require more attention. Is it a pattern, though? That's a good question. Uh, so far, I mean, it's going from like purple light to purple light. Once it reaches this purple light, I have no idea where it will, where it goes. Well, my thought is is that if it invests, if it's like messing with it, say for like thirty seconds, and then goes to the and then checks around and then goes yeah, to the time, next. Time wise, is there a pattern? Yeah, uh, time wise. It seems to be about the same amount of time. It only takes maybe a couple rounds. So maybe like 12 to 18 seconds to mess with whatever it's doing. It's not a very long amount of time. So if we time it correctly, we move every 18 seconds while it's moving. Maybe that'll give us some advantage of stealth. I don't know. Yeah, but we don't know which way he goes, do we? Uh, I know exactly. He's going to go to over here. And after that? That's where I'm not sure. He could go here or back. That's what I'm saying. Either Just way, we're not quite... I mean, we can check this area, and then... I think it's going to be up in one of those houses up north. Yeah. <laughs> True, but how, is there only one thing we need, or multiple? We need one Different. crystal, it looks. One, one crystal thing, yeah. Decent size. Probably about the how? size of, of, like, a watermelon. Small watermelon. Uh, I feel like I know where it is. I feel like I... Where do you think it is? In the guy's chest. It... I don't think so. I mean, size appropriate. He's glowing blue and the things are purple. Mm -hmm. There's a weird blue grown guy there. I mean, we can check uh, the rooms and stuff first. Well, we're about to find out which direction it goes. I mean, we could just, like, sit here and watch it and, like, get an idea. <laughs> I, I feel like if it steps right there, you know. See. Who knows, it might come around the corner and, like, come up behind us, so we might want to, like... Yeah, everybody scoot up. <laughs> scoot up, or, like, you know, get, you know, out of line of sight. You're going to go <clears throat> there and need another stealth check. Mm, another stealth check. All of us? Anybody who's moving in. Okay. Guidance on myself. Actually, no. Guidance on Shanty. Oh, this is really good. Oh. Got a... Oh, a 23. I'm rolling awful on stealth tricks. That's empty. Not bad. Uh, I'll roll for... Well, first is on your shoulder. She can share yours, but... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I have a fly around for looking out a bit. Is Maria staying back, or is Maria heading in there, too? Maria's dealing with a vomiting kitten. Oh, Maria's heading out. Then I will assume Maria is stealthing, and I'll give me a roll to stealth her. What is I, her? I, I, I roll. Okay. Oh, never mind. Sorry. So 27. Yeah, sorry. No good. I forgot what the... The kitten. internet's bad, you know. Oh, <laughs> Your cat's vomit is now cleaned up, so is the cockroach car. So yes, you guys but... kind of moved out of... To yeah, get out also... of sight. Yeah. 
to roll perception for it because ducks have food in the morning now. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as you guys enter in, it twitches and turns. I and think it's so shanty. <laughs> it rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> Oh, so a few people. Don't blame me, haha. <laughs> well, you and, uh... Oh, I think it actually is just... No, yeah. no, no, there's other people inside. No, <laughs> you and you. <laughs> you and you. You and you. You and you. You're the only one that rolled below a 21. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Even your bird rolled better than you. As soon as it turns... The mouthpiece kind of opens and this blue flame billows as it shouts uh, like a scream. And you see two of those pale white flames just kind of materialize. And I'm I assuming just... the rest of us are like still like hidden, like because. Yeah. I tried to duck like inside of a stall. Yeah. I will say I, was... I placed these tokens where they would spawn all pre preemptively. <laughs> and that's okay. where they spawn. <laughs> oh. But I'm like literally in the stall. I just didn't like put <laughs> yeah. myself because I can't really like I guess more there. Fair. So oh, right next to field medic. <laughs> uh and we're gonna go into initiative. Oh well, love is unfortunate. Oh I no. Like, I was like, oh god. Please don't get spotted right there. <laughs> well, I'm going to be almost lost. This will be fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We gotta Guess do what it. I rolled? Initiative. Exactly the same as Phil, Betty. <laughs> just lower. Oh, yeah. no. It's just easier to roll it in the in the thing for me. I'm not going to roll dice. Uh, okay. This one has a slightly better initiative than its friends. We might want to kill off the alarm dude in case he can alarm more. I think just, just... Have a minus... Yeah, they do. They have minus Thought... their initiative. Possibly. I think that's everyone. I'm counting seven, not including my compan my units. Alrighty. Shanty. You see the foot soldier appear directly in front of Field Medic. You can see everyone can appear and you see the knight looking more at you than anybody else. Uh, I will move... You okay? Come here. Over here, and I will strike at this guy. Okay. Uh, but, uh, no advantage, no nothing. Uh, and I will activate stones and stone rune. Which rune is it? Uh, runic shield. Is it this? Oh no, that's not it. Uh, where is it? Hold on, this one. Well, for the next minute, you are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Uh, and I'll use one of my uh, good. Mm, no, I won't. I'll just attack that guy. All right. Uh, one. Miss. Not good start. To that, that, uh, that just hits. Oh. Hmm. I do have an action sword. I don't feel like using it yet. Uh, backhand bonus action. Oh no, the runic ill rune is a bonus action, so that's my turn. Alright. 
trash. Oh, uh, let me think here. You are still you are still currently hidden. Yeah. Uh, I think technically that would be the only one that's currently hidden because uh, everyone else has more lion sight on them at the moment. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I can place this because it's, it's fireball is really big, and I don't think I can place it in a spot that'll hit anything without hitting people. 20-foot radius, right? Mm-hmm. But that's also going to hit me. If I put it right there, maybe? It would hit both of these guys? Is that a, is that a valid square? Like. Yeah, that's a valid square. You can see behind the pole. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll lob a... F- Fireball into there, uh, which is do 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 do. Uh, I don't even think I make a check on it. That's a dex save. I guess they do they get disadvantage because it's surprise. Uh, I or... don't think so. I think there's a feature for that. I think that mm. from, from um, what's it called? Uh, the magic rogue. Mm. Darn. All right. Well, we'll do it anyway. We'll we'll waste our slot. Why not? We don't need to spell magic, right, guys? Actually, no. We'll save that. <laughs> Does anybody else have to spell magic? Uh, I do. I do. But I do. Okay. Do you mind? Do you, are you? Yeah. I because th- this is my last third level spell slot. If I use, it. I have one third level I left. Do. I'll keep it in the chamber. I don't have to spell magic. All right, Unless I'm, I'm, somebody dies. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> fireball these guys. All right. So, originating there. Uh, one, uh, the one on the left got a 10. And the one on the right got a 7. Okay, 14 is the DC, so 8d6. Mm-hmm. 5, 6. I need two more. Uh, Ooh, I got a lot of sixes. That's ten, twenty, thirty-two. Thirty-two. And eighty-six. Uh, uh, 86, yeah. That's right. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I'm just making sure it does, it's not like plus spell casting or anything. Yeah, it's, I think it's just the dice. All right, yep. So, uh, 10, 20, 32. Yep. I just wanted to recount it because math is fun. All good. Detonates and. That's definitely drawn the attention of the of the, of the weirder night. Yeah. Not um, in your and bonus action, I am going to blade song because you know blade song is good for me. Oop. Okie dokie. That is it for me. Uh, it's now this knight's turn. It's just, it's going to move down this way. And that jawline opens again. You see a bunch of runes go across its armor that glow blue and then green as it spits a stream of acid uh, in a 30-foot line. I need, I believe it is a deck save 
from both field medic and trash. Hey, Dex. Thankfully, is one of my. <laughs> Did not go in the box. Go in the box. Thank you. 13 plus 7. 20. Dirty 20. All right. Uh, 20 is a success. 14 is a failure. Uh, I'm really sure I still take some damage. <coughs> no. You dodge it completely. Oh, nice. Dominic is coated in acid. Uh, that sounds bad. That doesn't take effect until the start of the turn. Does that take any damage yet? Uh, and it will use second wind. It just took a 32 damage. Wait, okay. I gotta do this. I was like, why doesn't it let me do things? Uh... And brings us to Rouge. Uh, Rouge will oh, wrong token. Uh, move over here. Uh, attack the knight with advantage because it has, I think, that tactics. Yep. Alright. That hits. I should upgrade him at some point with weapons. Uh, and as a bonus action, he is going to do the help action. Alrighty. Do we have... Uh, uh... Are you just hoping the next person attacks that one, or...? Yeah, yeah, just the next person attacking that one gets help. Alrighty. Maria. <gasps> Part of this tent is now just melted oh. away. Hey. This attack actually did. Uh... No. Uh... Oh, okay. <clears throat> you can currently barely see this one through the, the slats of this thing and you can see this one a little bit clearer and you can definitely see this one and Phil Medica is currently covered in acid I guess I'll over black. Right. The first one will have advantage. Somebody create water on field medic? Or no, it's she's doesn't have a turn. Hello? Mm -hmm. Uh you have advantage on the first one, Maria. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I think we lost him. Yeah. That net, though. Also, the first one does hit the so all over damage for him. Hey, kept the charisma. Yay! 
Huzzah. Yay, you did something right, roll 20. Oh. The fuck was that? It was You're somebody joined. joining and leaving really fast. Yeah, he joined and left. And then oh. it startled me. <laughs> I was like, it was like, no, I'm like, did I disconnect? <laughs> I don't think I did. Uh, I'll just. Typing at least, so he's still in row twenty. I, better, I can roll that second one if he wants me to help him out, yep. or I can't even open his character sheet. Wow, game. There it is. Uh, that one misses, unfortunately. First one does hit, though. Blasting a bit of the armor away. Goodbye. I'm going to move forward, but if he wants to move, he can move. Uh... Yeah, it's going to be two swings at uh, Shanty first. From there? Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, what did she get for you to hit? Uh, 18. That misses. And that's 9. And it will axe and surge and swing two more times at you. Okay. 18 again. And less than that. <laughs> you manage to parry each bullet as it starts swinging, and it will also second wind. Uh, that is not blocked back, but a little bit back. I feel like we're going to need to take a long rest after this. Assuming one of these <laughs> rooms has, a, has crystals in the ceiling. Field medic, uh, so your turn, you take six acid damage. All right, that's so bad. Still, field medic's not happy about their clothing being starting to be eaten through. What do you wish uh, to? Let's see, enemy is right next to me. Uh, I have second level rogue skills, so I am going to bonus action. If you're talking, I can't hear. Uh, you can't hear me at all? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Testing, can you hear me now? Yes. Alright. I don't know what's going on with Discord today. Um, alright, so... I'm... Since I'm a second... I, I have at least two levels in Rogue. I am going to bonus action, uh, disengage, come over here, aim my crossbow at that dude... And let loose. Alrighty. Uh, they're, yeah, they're allies within five feet. So that hits. Eight damage. Wow. Rolled low on the sneak attack damage. And that'll be my turn. Sheena. All right. Um, going to. Going to move, but I'm not quite sure where. But what's going to happen first is we're going to cast Entangle, and we're going to put these two on lock. Uh, 
So let's see. That is a 20 foot square. Let me pull out the draw shape. Uh, there we go. I need to make a strength saving throw. All right. Because he's kind of like almost like oh. blackened roots kind of like come up and start entangling them. Uh, strength. What is your strength save? Uh, first one is a 12. Fail. Uh, so that's this one. He is going to be... I'm just going to use a net to represent that he is entangled. Uh, the other one got... a 23. Yeah, that passes. So that one at least is contained, and everybody has advantage. Speed is zero. And I believe disadvantage on dex saves. It's restrained. Um, and then yeah, disadvantage on dex. What the hell? Um, and then. Oh, I just totally clicked off of Spotify. Sorry, everybody was listening to that. Um, bonus action. I don't think I have anything. Let me check. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not going to use yet. The, we're going to move. Let's not be in a line. She's going to 5, 10, Yeah, she's going to sit right here. And that's her turn. All right. Uh, I mean, I think it's going to attempt to try to break free with its action. It's fine. Uh, string check, right? Uh, Yeah, it's a 15. It rolled an 8. Can't quite make out of it. Uh, it will try to recover some health from that fireball. It recovered barely nothing, <laughs> but it tried. But it'll just sit there because it's currently stuck. Rodan. All right. Yeah, one is currently restrained, one that's fought it off. Yeah. The one that's restrained has disadvantage against Dex? Yes. Here. Perfect. So one disadvantage thing I... with also a negative one. <laughs> and uh... all attack rolls against have advantage. Alright. I'm gonna... Done on my Firefox. Oh, you have, that's not your health. Firefox, let me change your health. There you go. Uh, so when it uh, spawns, every creature within 10 feet of it has to make a good deck saving throw. So this one got a 6. And okay, that's a fail. Take the one got a zero. Okay, that's <laughs> surprisingly a six. No, fail. <laughs> um, they take Natural one minus one zero. <laughs> they take five five fire damage. Oh, I don't and... when I roll zero, it's funny. Uh, bonus action. Uh, Shillelagh. 
All right. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> You're approaching the moon, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Shanty. You got one that's entangled above you, one that's not next to you. Field medic's covered in acid. Uh, that's a field medic problem. Uh, I'll attack the one below me, looks the worst, right? It's definitely taking the most hits, yeah. Uh, do I have advantage because flanking? Uh, yes, actually, because of uh, your bird. The hits. Six. That hits as well. Uh, let's. Uh, bonus action. Still standing. How bad is it looking? Pretty bad. I mean, it's not. It, it can't do. Definitely can't take one of those types of hits again. Oh, there's that hits. Uh, also says with the and that misses. I assume. Yes. Do I want to action surge? I feel like I do. Just because my friends are getting hurt a lot. Well, it might take a long rest anyway. 19 hits. 19 hits. Uh, still standing, but barely. I have the fullest confidence that Bruce can kill it. I mean, no, <laughs> you need spec tactics to get, have a chance of hitting it, so I guess I'll just hit it. That hits. And that's dead. Then I'll move over here. Yeah. That's my action. Uh, uh, I say, Rodin, get back. <laughs> uh, that's about all I can do, I think. All right. Trash. Stroll there. I'm here. Um. Uh. So I have this guy that's rooted, and I have this guy. Shanty, were you planning on doing something AOE wise to the caster? Uh. No. I'm just standing here that if they get any closer, I can get them with my pole arm center. Oh, uh, because I'm. I was gonna. I'm gonna engage the caster just because I see cast the. You know, caster is a bigger threat. Um. So actually, I will. Eh, oh. I'll just run, run up to it. Uh, trying to decide where I want to go. Maybe I'll get a, go around back of it. Uh, and then we'll... Um, hmm. Hmm. I have choices. I guess I'll Booming Blade it. Because I think at my level now, I, the cantrip is a little bit funner. Because it actually does some extra damage. And if it decides to try to move for, for some reason... It will not be able to, although it probably won't bother moving, but I think... Actually, no, I don't have Booming Blade right now. Uh, I guess it's going to be Green Flame Blade, then. Green Flame Blade, then. Um, so let's see if I hit it first. Don't get any kind of advantage or anything fun like that, because nobody's flanking or anything good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did roll an 18 plus whatever my hit modifier is. Uh, eight, 18 plus 8. Uh, 26. 26, yeah. The hits. Okay, uh, so... Now I gotta figure out this, because, like, it's a 1d8 plus 4. You're an 8, right? No, you're a 10. Uh, these little dice are, like, really small, and it's hard to figure out what they are. Mm -hmm. um, 1d8 plus 4, and then... Well, I don't get sneak attack. So, but I do get the booming... The, Green Flame Blade does a 1d8, so we're basically rolling 2d8, I guess. Uh, ooh, that's 
five damage. Woohoo! Maintain concentration as well. Uh, five damage plus four, so nine. Okay, still maintaining concentration. Um, and then I'm gonna use my extra attack to just swing this bell blade at it. Alrighty. Which I guess needs an attack roll. Um, that's a nine plus an eight, so seventeen. Uh, it'll use shield. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll offhand dagger it. Why not? Because I can. All right. Uh, that is a uh seventeen. Still misses. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's my turn. All right. Keep small stab. You are you are right on top of it. Uh. Hmm. Great, it's gonna detonate and blow me up. Whee! <laughs> it might. It shouts at you as it turns towards you, and it's gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's either good or bad. That's I don't aggressive. know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's uh, just gonna punch 14 me. For the, Fourteen for the first hit. No. And twenty-one for the second. Twenty-one hits. Uh, <laughs> just, just love that it turns around, yells at you. You take. Uh, uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. That's not too bad. No, that's actually, why I didn't bother to like shield it or anything, because I'm like, how, how hard could a spellcaster's punch be? And it'll <laughs> action charge and hit again? No. <laughs> It's going to accidentally start to do something different. Great. Oh, no. Now that it's it's, be, it's mad that I made fun of it. It's got action search. <laughs> it's going to... Uh, it's going to drop concentration and the acid is going to vanish off of... Feel Medic. As its form starts disor- disrupting itself. It casts Blur on itself. Mm, okay. What does Blur do again? It gives me disadvantage. Ah. Uh, it is now Rouge's turn. Uh. Help action attack. Alrighty. That misses. It doesn't advance because it's restrained. Oh, uh, and uh, help action. So next guy to attack it gets. I think. I forgot. These guys have flyby. I don't know if Bloodhawks do. Off the top of my head. All track. <coughs> All right. Uh, Maria. While well, you check that, we'll go to Maria. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, that's sad. Oh, okay. Um, which one looks closer to... Uh, the one The, the one right closest here. to trash or the other one? The one that's restrained looks worse off. I... So... Then... Breaking up, I didn't hear what you're going. doing. <clears throat> Had to open up my uh, character mm. sheet a second time, basically. Um, Eldritch Blast. Uh, which one? Through the middle. Which one are you blasting? Right up there. 12. That sucks. And try again. Uh, right in front of me. Uh, go ahead, roll another one because you have disadvantage. So I'll run over two to see if you hit. Uh, 
That's a really good. Yeah, that roll. hits. <laughs> <laughs> right for that. That's max damage. If only I took Roach, I'd be able to get Sneak or something. Yep. Maintain his concentration. And, and just gonna pop my character back. Oh, you know, I never made it. Well, no, I didn't actually take. Oh, no, I did take damage. I have to roll a concentration check for my. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I get advantage on it because I have Blade Song up. Hooray! Uh, I get a thirteen a and an eleven. Yeah, you won. You just, you just had to beat a ten. Okay. Uh, field medic. You got one that's restrained and one being surrounded by three of your teammates. All right, I will shoot at the one surrounded by teammates because I know I'm getting a sneak attack on that one. All righty. That looks good. Uh, and I think I'll stay put where I am. Alrighty, Sheena. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Um... <sighs> I wouldn't waste any of your forms unless you do. No, that's why I'm trying to. Five, ten. What's the range on this thing? Um, thirty. I gotta get within thirty feet. Where's thirty? Um, is there, so, it's hard to tell, like, are these stands, like, is that basically blot, like, if she was supposed to, if, oh, fuck, grab the token, Kate, Jesus, um, so, like, here, if she was supposed to stand here, like, these are two, like, stalls, so this is, like, blocking her vision to the Eldritch Knight, right, and the Foot Soldier? Partially, yeah. Okay, so, I was right here, so, I need to get... Actually, yeah, I'd have... What's the cover thing? I forget cover. It uh, adds AC. Yeah, it's like plus two for three quarters, and then or plus half is plus two, three quarters is plus five, something like that. It's so yeah, mm. it's something. I don't. I, it mm. might not be that extreme, but yeah, no, three quarters I think is plus yeah. five to AC and Dex saves. Mm. Half cover is plus two to AC and Dex saves. I'd say technically, because of all the boxes in here, it gets three quarters cover. So technically. It's fine. Eldritch Blast is not going to hit because it would have shielded. Um, she's going to move here though. Yeah, she can totally do that. Um, so I will mark that it's got that up right now. How far is that? That's thirty. What's her movement? Thirty-five. That's another five. Does that put her more in the line? Actually, yeah, she's going to stay right there. Um, and we're going to thorn whip uh, the foot soldier that's entangled. So, with advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, where's my other die? Right there. Oh, I don't think that hits because that was a four and a two. Um, so, that's, what, plus seven? That's 11? Yeah. No, no, yeah, 11, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, that is uh, her turn. Uh, it is going to attempt to break free again. Oh, Twelve. Uh, it's a fail. Yeah, it's going to action search and try to break free again. <laughs> it does not want to stay. That's a twenty-three. Yeah, that'll, 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 yeah, that'll do. Mm. There we go. It's finally free. Uh, who's it gonna go after? Uh, can it? Mo oh, yeah, it can move. Uh, technically, 
but it's used as action. Yeah. And technically, that's one. He's in rough terrain for, I mean, only five feet of it, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, so this would be 25 feet of movement to get it here. Milk it for all I can. Because it was charging at the one that's currently harassing the one above it. Rodin. Okay, so you the Aldrich charge in. <laughs> yeah, the Aldrich Knight has a blur field and a bubble. Yeah. Uh, it has used its reaction, so there's that. You know what? This if you need to run by it. Oh, it's Jesus react. Yeah, you're, right. you're right. You're yeah. right. I don't have to fear. Yeah, no, that makes moving simpler. Mm -hmm. Go here, and I'll whap the foot soldier with advantage. Thank you, advantage. That's that's. What what do I plus? What do I plus? I don't Eight. know. That plus. is twenty six. Yeah, that hits. Uh, At the beginning of this, this thing, uh, like Shanty was like, just hit it with a stick. I think six. that's literally what uh, what damage. Rodan is doing. It is yeah, a stick. I rolled a one on my damage die. It's kind of you impact, but the metal's tougher um, than you realize. It's dented in slightly. Does anybody now, have heat metal? Come on, Druids. Would trash accept being teleported? Uh, maybe since I'm kind of in a little bit of a pinch right now. Okay. So I'm gonna bonus action order the wild to get me and Trash out of away from them. So it's gonna go here. And then Does teleport. it teleport there? Yep. Or does it move? Oh no, it runs here and then teleports. Oh okay, because you got rough terrain. Unfortunately. Not flying. Hovering hovering, I think. Oh. Oh that's yeah. right. Uh looks like fire. <laughs> <laughs> I feel less guilty about having that on there. <laughs> it will teleport down here, putting me in the difficult terrain. <laughs> it's about to be gone. And I guess me there? Yeah. And they both need to make uh, deck saving throws. Uh, the foot shoulder got a 15. Fail. And the other one got a 6. Fail. They both take. Oh, can I stop rolling ones? <laughs> uh, that's um four damage, four fire damage. Okay. Uh, I'm so annoyed at rolling ones on my d6s and my damage dice. That's my turn. Back up the shanty. Uh, I guess I'll move up. Uh, I'll take the... I'll just take the dodge action. And I'll hold them here. I can't think that's the move. Or do I take them? How bad are they looking? Uh, the one's below half, and the other one is pretty bad up and not below half yet. Uh, I'll hit the one that's below half. Alright, so that's the foot soldier. Alrighty. That hits. Fifteen percent. Uh, that'll be... <laughs> Alrighty. Crash. 
I don't think I have any spells that I can do any range. I don't I don't have any ranged cantrips. I'm reading what I can do. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. I don't think that's particularly useful. Um, all right, seeing as I'm not a, entirely keen on getting closer to these. Uh, I think I'm just going to shoot at it. All right. With, uh, mm, still the caster dude, I guess. All right. Because I don't really like him. Um, I do get sneak attack if it hits, I guess, because Shanty's in five feet, right? Uh, no, because you have disadvantage. Oh, that's right. He's got, I got to roll two. I got a 20 and an 18. Like a, a nat 20 and an 18, and that's all plus 7. 18 plus 7 is 25, which I believe still hits. Cause yeah. And that's a 1d6 plus 4, so. That's a 5 plus 4, 9. Um, do I, it, does extra attack count for bow? Because I get a second attack now. Yeah, it would. Okay, yeah, it would. Well, well, we'll take another shot at it. Why not? The only thing you can't really extra attack with is a crossbow. Yeah, also, well, unless also, you have that feet. feat. Yeah, yeah, unless you have civic. Or spell. Oh, uh, I got a yeah. two and a three this time, so that is definitely a no. Yeah. Even with my bonuses, so. But, and that is it. It's not the knight's turn. Who's going to move here and strike at the uh, the one in the middle? Who's dodging? Uh, no, they attacked. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You changed to attack. Yeah, I do have resistance. Yes. So that is a 27. Yeah, 27 that misses. Uh, uh, <laughs> and math is difficult. Uh, if it's difficult, you shouldn't worry about it. Just, just call the flat then. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I think it misses because it's a 15. Yeah, 15 misses. <laughs> right, I forgot I can do this. Uh, so, let's see, that is... Mm, minimal damage, only six. Is that pre or after uh, reduction? Uh, is that that the is... Because this is... Damn, we're just gonna do this. Make sure I'm doing this right. It's only yeah, slashing, what? bludgeoning, and so. Yeah, right now it's bludgeoning. Okay, so half. Uh, so three. Uh, and I need you to make a athletics or acrobatics check. Easy athletics. Nineteen. I got a 24. Uh, you are grappled by it. 
Oh, it's hugging you. <laughs> That's bad, right? Isn't those aren't they? Oh, these guys are the ones that blow up when they hug you, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's currently grabbed you by the throat. <laughs> Let's uh, see how long it can hold on there. You take I an additional. Uh. Nine points of necrotic damage. Uh, and you see some of its dents heal up. It just stole your life. <laughs> it looks disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> this, this tastes like nobility and disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> and strangely like wildlife. <laughs> uh, it's Rusha's turn. <laughs> I'm get rid of the shield. Uh, Rush will fly over here and attack. Because Rush, uh, if I'm not reading this badly, uh, Helped on the previous attack on this creature, mm-hmm. he gets an extra damage die. Uh, I need to also read because I need to read different different some pack tactics here. It's, it's it's some weird stuff. Oh, I also have advantage because flanking and pack tactics. Uh, n- I'm gonna say no because you're currently not a threat to that one. You are effectively incapacitated in terms of that in terms of that one. Because you're being grabbed. Got you by the neck. Not just flanking, because back like this. If the alley is not incapacitated. I mean, I'm not incapacitated. Am I? I'm going to say, because you're being forced to face this one, there's no way you can attack this one, really. Uh, not with your weaponry. You're being grabbed by the neck. I guess... I'm sure. It's not how grab... Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, then no coordinated attack. I mean, doesn't... I mean, coordinated. it matters for the advantage, not for the coordinated attack. Yeah. Coordinated attack was, is still going to be a thing. Can he help himself? <laughs> Bonus I mean, action, maybe... help action? <laughs> maybe if he reads his bo- some books. <laughs> that doesn't matter. He hits anyway. Yeah, oh yeah, he hits. And he kills it. <laughs> uh, and then I'll give the help action to whoever attacks this thing next. Just text the armor to death. <laughs> <laughs> he like flew and knocked the helmet off as, as he was good, flying. He's a good bird. He's a good bird. And the armor and nerfing to vanishes. You see this this thing kind of tilts its head now. Uh, Maria. Still disadvantage. Uh, first one misses. Second, second blast. Uh, that one is still going to miss as well because of the three quarters cover. Uh, it's advantage, not disadvantage, though. The blur? The, the advantage technically would have countered out the first disadvantage. Oh, okay. So which makes it 16. Fair, fair, fair. And even the 21 would have missed either way. Because of the plus 5. <laughs> uh, field Medic. All right. If you move to the left, you can get a better line of sight, considering most of this tent has gotten melted by ass. <laughs> gotcha. Well, aim at this dude. Uh, this direction, left. Oh, pff, sorry, I mis- mis- misheard. Mis- mis- aiming at that dude, since there's... Uh... You know, I can get seek attack damage. Crispo. Woo! Much higher roll. Uh, unfortunately, he still does disadvantage. The blur. Oh, 
type. Uh, one more roll twenty. Damn it, 13. Unfortunately, that misses because you see it pass through through a, a, the duplicate of itself. It's kind of weird because because Shanty's being held, there's kind of a duplicate of Shanty as well. That's too bad. That, that's all I can do. She know. Okay, uh, dropping concentration on the entangle because it up and then we're gonna move uh, 5 10 20 30 35 and then we're gonna thorn web with disadvantage yeah I don't know. um 15 yeah uh, 15, unfortunately, misses. Yeah. And that's your turn. Rodin. I'm going to go here. Oh, and good. Flap it. Also, you, you do have advantage because Shanty is a threat to that thing. So just a straight roll? Yep. Moving on. Um, <laughs> that was great. That was a great one, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a two on the dice. Uh, bonus action. Uh, telling my fire spirit to get me out of being near this thing. That's so gonna go here. And uh, where does it want to? Uh, it will teleport. No, it'll teleport here. Uh, the Eldritch Knight needs to make a deck saving throw. Uh, 17. Okay, moving on. That's it. Alrighty. Shanty, you are technically considered restrained. I thought I was grappled. Yeah. The fun fact about the, about the grappler feet. Oh. Don't you need a second action to restrain? If I'm not mistaken? I have a, I have a, one of his feet here says something about whenever you grapple, it considers restraining. Because... I remember reading that because I was looking at that for Shanti. Oh no! I was like, added on to him. it's an action to grapple, and then you need to use your second action to turn the grapple into a restraint. But I'm it's not the grappler feet. I was thinking something else. This oh. is vampiric grip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we want to do it that way, I'll drop my uh, glaive. Uh, I'll punch it in the face. <laughs> you want to grab me? I'll just punch your shit fucking. <laughs> you should scream uh, at it first before you punch it. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a taste of its own medicine. Go ahead and roll. Uh, I roll just advantage. Because, yeah, he's blurry too. Get all kinds of things. Mm, nope. 19? Uh, it'll use shield. <laughs> It'll run out of shield eventually. <laughs> it will. Uh, has <laughs> anybody hit this thing with the blur up? Has I had I, with the bow. I has technically have. I has will... it rolled con checks on that? Yes. Oh, yeah, as, I haven't rolled lower than a 10. As bonus <laughs> action, I will enlarge. Because if I'm not mistaken, that fucks up grapples. Uh, I believe so. At least if it's holding me by the neck. Oh yeah, it's definitely not going to be able to hold you by the neck anymore. So I'm going to say... Clinging to a bicep now. <laughs> I'm going to say that's going to break its grapple because his hand's not that big.
Uh, is that the end of your turn? Uh, I think so. Trash. Oh, Trash is going to drop her bow and move back up. To right. Flank it. Um, which gives me straight attack again, right? Because I'm flanking with Shanty, but it's got Blur, so this would be a straight roll. Correct. But sneak attack damage? Yeah, yeah, that is assuming I hit. I'm, you know you know me and my roll. Whoops. Oh, I, got a, I dropped my dice, and I got a 16 plus 8. Uh, which is... I think that's going to... 16 20, plus... 24, eight. right? 24, yeah, that hits. Okay, so now i got to figure out the damage, because it's a d6. Oh, and uh, I'm doing the cantrip. Uh, flame, green flame. I always forget to announce that, but I... That's just... All right. All right, so D6, a D8, a D8. So that's a six, an 8 and a 7 plus 4, so that's 10, 18, and then 7 fire damage. So eighteen plus seven, right? Uh, n uh, uh, yeah. Hot. Ten plus an eight, at six plus a four plus an eight plus a seven fire damage. Okay. Math is hard. And I guess my second attack, I'm just gonna do a straight attack with the. Well, we'll just do the blade and the dagger. Mm hmm. I'm just rolling two d20s, and one is going to be one. And well, here's the, the blade. Oh, that's a one, and that one, and then that twenty for the dagger. So I went from a fucking completely up with the spell blade, but but nat twentying on the shitty dagger, which is an offhand, right? Yes. So go ahead, and roll me a d4. I'm gonna roll add four to three. It. So seven. Nine. But at least I hit it. I roll another concentration. Yep. Roll a 16 on the die. And Can you please roll lower than a 10? That's it. No. Uh, brings it to its turn, which means the shield technically goes off again. Uh, it is going to attempt to punch uh, the possum. Uh, that's a 19. Nope. That's a 24. Yes. Punch me. Uh, for eight points of bludgeoning. And I rolled a 10 for concentration. All right. Uh, I need so to how much was it? Eight points eight. of bludgeoning? Yep. Yeah. Are you and still then... concentrating on Pass Without a Trace? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just sneaky while uh, we're fighting. I also need to make the <laughs> this is a very sneaky fight. Acrobatics hey, or athletics? Uh, acrobatics because I get advantage on it while I'm blade singing. Alrighty. So this is whatever this is plus a four. Uh, that dice did. Are you sitting flat? No, that dice is not sitting flat. It was like, I don't know how it managed to do it on the velvet, but it was, uh, I got a uh, 10 and a 17, so 17 plus 4. 21. 21, I rolled a 22. 14 plus 8. Oh, it's going to hug me. Yep. Well, it's more, you know, check. Well, I mean, you only take one point of necrotic damage. Okay, I'll take it. And it heals a little bit. Uh, also, r remove one second level spell slot. What? What? As it absorbs your second level spell slot. No, my spell this. slot. <laughs> <laughs> you asked? Oh, that's mine. As it absorbs some of your magic. 
It's worse when it grabs a spellcaster. <laughs> I don't like that. That's not fun. I wonder what terrible spell it can now cast thanks to that. I mean, another shield. <laughs> I <don't> imagine. <laughs> I got at least another shield, yeah. <laughs> Blur is also a second level. <laughs> uh, Rouge. Almost got marked. Uh, it does have spec tactics now, right? Yes, because you are big and angry behind it. Twenty. Uh, twenty. It's going to use shield. Doesn't want to be packed at. <laughs> Let's see uh, what happens when it gets packed. <laughs> bonus action, help action. Alright, so the next person has advantage against it. Mm -hmm. Maria. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to move over to here. Alright. Doop -a doop -a do. So that means yeah. I could get a easier shot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a better shot. Yeah. You're not gonna have uh it's not gonna have cover against you. So first one's a flat roll. Let's go. Where is my thing? Did I? Oh, God. My internet man. It's it's mm. Don't know if you guys have tell can tell, but I've Ended up disconnecting from the uh, call at least seven times since my last round. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. Flat roll. Some of that. Twenty-four. But, Twenty-four you know, does I have it on disadvantage. Uh, there we go. Bam. Thirteen. All right. One we'll attack. Never attack with disadvantage. Disadvantage is to actual disadvantage. Okay. And bam. Hey. Twenty-two just hits. Wood with the shield. Bap. Back your shield. <laughs> you eat my blast. You're being held by this thing. Uh as you see a hole just gate through its chest and the flame dies. And it drops you to Maria the ground. Maria dabs. Congratulations! You survived one of the one of the mages. One of the mages. That's good to know. Oh, one. <laughs> there are more who mages. Knows? Who knows how many there could possibly be? Yeah, my my hit points are not adjusting based on the thing. It's weird. Now, there like my hit bar above my character it still says fifty four to fifty six, but my actual hit points are thirty seven. Yeah, and I noticed if you that. refresh Rule 20 it updates, it's like not correctly updating the tokens. Yeah. There we go. I feel better. I feel worse, but I feel better. <laughs> it just took a spell slot as it went with it. <laughs> like, a, like a dick. Precious spells. Well... Now all we need to do is hunt for the crystal. That thing like completely dissolved, right? It didn't just like pile into a collapse yeah. into a pile of stuff. So like, there's no armor to poke through to see if there's like crystal of it. Yeah, they all as soon as they vanish, they, their body vanishes into like that white flame, leaving not a trace. All right, well, I'm uh, I'm going to go check out, you know, basically just dust myself off and go check out this door. <laughs> well, or, or are we going to call it here because it's a four, almost 4 o'clock? I think we'll call it here. Because then we'll pick up with the investigation. Okay. And see what you guys find in the second lower city. So three three cities so far. One more than I was expecting. Yeah, and this one has some rather... Oops, all cities. 
Like the first the first level didn't have any enemies that I can remember, and these ones seem to be getting progressively harder. So that's that's gonna be fun. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye guys. everybody.